Is that my water? That is your water, yes. <laughs> hello, everyone. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, 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 hello. 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 Assemble yourself. Yes, indeed we are. I didn't realize. <laughs> Shake bags, <laughs> assemble. <laughs> everyone together. How are we all doing? This is nice. I'm glad to be back in a live stream. It's mm. been a while. It certainly has. Are, are we skying this a bit? Is there a bit too much yeah. negative space? It, I keep expecting it to be on the TV. It, it looks. It just looks a bit surreal, though. It's fine. Or we look like very, very small people. Right. Nah, I'm quite small. Well, you know, we, we do what we can. Um, right. I'll, I'll maybe break it down a little bit. We, Who we, do we have in the chat this evening, Callum? We've we've got many people. I need to properly load up the chat. Martin's away, maturating. Yeah, he's urinating. <laughs> He's urinating. Uh, he makes sexy noises when he pees. Can we just? Work work? I'm going to bring up the chat and you as in our it. classic thing, just just check that. Um, just check that the the sound's working, which is always <laughs> always a good one. Is it? Uh, yep. Um, one thing I would say um, is that. I've actually bought a couple of films again for a giveaway. Oh, again. nice. Um, now, classic... Oh, fuck, you will have, might have seen that there. Classically, <laughs> uh, last time we gave away The Mummy 2, the uh, Bram Stoker one, and everyone wanted the one that was the Brendan Fraser vehicle. We've got the Brendan Fraser vehicle, guys. <laughs> Happy days. We've got it. Mark, can you close that? Hurrah! Up there? The hatch. <laughs> There's Martin, by the way. We are um, recording. Don't be racist. <laughs> and we also have... Um, Sorry, guys, I'm here. Eli Roth's Aftershock. It's a bit, a bit shiny. I was about to say that he was holding that there. It's like the world's largest DVD. <laughs> so it's like, I haven't changed the format again. <laughs> I haven't seen this movie, but it's got a sliding cover, so I bought it. Nice. I'm a very discerning shopper. I also picked up a copy Whoa. of. Oh, oh dear. Um, I also picked up oh, uh, the, the Tome of the Dam. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. The most <laughs> what <are you> <laughs> um, <laughs> A classic. Now, I will very quickly. Put us aside for a second. Uh, let me see if I can set up. Can you put the chat on the telly? Uh, no, that's currently beyond my abilities <laughs> with this free software. Ah, oh, talk amongst cheap yourselves, bastard. So how's everyone doing? I can't actually see what you're typing. Yep, it's so, not visible uh, anywhere. So here's, uh, here's the chat. Oh, 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 how many screens have we got? I know. <laughs> 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 Fuck me, it's Mike. Yes, Jackie. <laughs> oh, yes, it's good to see you. Let's see what's happening. Anyone what's seen happening? any good horror movies lately? Jackie Boy <laughs> hasn't watched those DVDs you sent him. I think you should demand them back. I know, that's they're a pair of bastards. Do you know how much love Callum put into Do you know that? it costs more to send them than to buy them? If you open them up, you'll find some of Callum's. Right, love. <laughs> hey, oh, 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 there we go. Right, let's get live, Google live stream control <laughs> minimised. Right, we've got we've got a bit of a hilarity to begin with. Uh, this is... Uh, only, oh, this. Are we gonna are we gonna do a bit of a narration here? Uh, this is a bit fruity. Oh, this arrangement. Hang on, voice with Excuse me, my narration voice. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> pitch, uh, here we go. Pitch and pitch the human up. torch was denied. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Right. So this is a site that we basically found where you can type in a whole bunch of shit and it will create a story for you. Right. So you found how I actually write. Yeah, yeah essentially. Yeah, the, the racket's up, mate. <laughs> we're game over. Know, know. Bedtime is supposed to be a hang on. <laughs> so, as you can see, they basically ask. Flash lint is supposed to be a happy time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they ask you For to do. Biscuit. Dinner time is supposed to be a happy time. <laughs> can I talk through this? Sorry, so that's sorry. really serious. Sorry, sorry. It's really sorry. serious, guys. Sorry. Uh, basically, you write through a whole bunch of things. You give me selected things. So, we've done some really, really kind of clever bits of literature here. Uh, our adjectives are flatulent. Corpulent. I like the fact that you, you get three words in and you're already homophobic. We've already it's, used the word poofy. It's, well, it's poofy uh, as in well, aloof. Like a stool. Yeah, yeah. As yeah. Like a stool. as in like a stool, yeah. Are you Similar sure? to a stool. So yeah. definitely, when you when you hear the story, you'll understand the context. We, we won't, right? well, I won't read them all out, but what I will allow you, Michael, to do, <laughs> right? What I will allow you, Michael, to do is read out... Well, we'll do, we do a paragraph. The story. Okay, we'll do a paragraph each, right? Okay. Oh, that's a good point. So let's see if I can mm. just get this to <clears> format here. So, if Michael, you would just like to read this out for us here. Right, I'll do the first paragraph. Oh, you get the best on them. That sucks. <laughs> Oohs and ahs. I will never forget the night it happened. It was a flatulent night. <laughs> and I was relaxing upstairs with my cunt pipe, <laughs> a good book, and my faithful shark, Jeff. <laughs> 
Suddenly, <laughs> there was a loud fart. I sprang to my feet and crept downstairs, trying to be as corpulent as I could. Nothing looked out of the ordinary. Suddenly, I heard the fart again. <laughs> but this time, it was much more... <laughs> It was much more poofy. <laughs> <laughs> and I knew <laughs> Sorry. and I knew it was coming from the basement. Summoning my courage, I grabbed the flashlight and strode slowly down the stairs. I might have met my end right there, if not for Jeff, who let out a loud drone <laughs> Or oh, you don't say drone. <laughs> okay. Startled, I jumped clumsily to the side, just in time to avoid a long, gooey appendage. Ooh, how ghastly. <laughs> I turned my flashlight on the intruder and gasped in horror, lurking there in my basement, bathed in the greasy glow of my light, <laughs> was a huge, quivering, shapeless blob of ooze. The hideous thing was as red <laughs> as an arse biscuit and as big as a poop shit. Who wants to do the who wants oh, to do the in between one? Yeah. No, no, you, you do the, do the who does the exclamation? Barney! I cried. <laughs> I fled stupidly upstairs, but the thing had chased me with lightning speed. I was trapped. I knew I had to fight it if I wanted to survive. First, I tried to chop it with a sharp weeboo from the kitchen. <laughs> then I shot it with my grandpa's lamp that hangs over the fireplace. In desperation, I even tried throwing pish at it. <laughs> but all to no avail. <laughs> it just kept coming. I thought I was dead for sure. Then, suddenly, a strange figure crashed through my window and leapt between us. He was tall and jaunty. <laughs> with fierce, jaundiced eyes and syphilitic shoulders. <laughs> He was dressed entirely in black, except for his burnt <laughs> ochre trousers. Who's up next? Alan, would you like to go? You want to give it a... <laughs> Zoinks! The bigger pride. And quick as a Bigfoot, <laughs> he, ch he jumped in and stunned the ooze creature with a powerful kick. Without pause, he scooped the thing into a chair and tied it shut with a long daffodick. <laughs> How did you do that? I gasped, trying to crash, trying to catch my breath. Their only weakness is their Shatner's bassoon. <laughs> <laughs> one, one good kick and the things are helpless. But how do you find it? I asked, staring at the shapeless mass. That is easy, said the stranger. It is right next to their liver. <laughs> I thanked him for saving my life and asked him his name. I am Quasant, <laughs> and I have been hunting the ooze creatures all my life. Join me in my quest, and we will make the world safe from their dickish evil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll draw a, a yeah. Now that um, I knew the truth, how could I say no? I joined Croissant that night, and my <laughs> life has never been the same. I learned how to spot their Shatner's bassoon in less than nine seconds, <laughs> and together we have defeated over eight of the ooze creatures. I even got my own burnt okra trousers. I, I, I think we can all agree that the art of writing is dead. That's it. That's the it. The game is up. I, I, I don't think oh. we could better that. Uh, well, there's more stories on this thing. Apparently, you could. We could probably get the. Uh, well, the we thing could probably is, get the viewers to suggest. Like this words just feels the, like the work of a thousand monkeys, a thousand mm. typewriters right here. I don't know if we can. Who right, are each of them a brilliant writer. <laughs> yes. That's what you mean, isn't it? Yes. When now, I wonder <laughs> if it will. If we can do it, read, check out the horror company. Oh, fuck you, I'm not checking out your work. Hey, Cam's right. just having a conversation with himself. <laughs> yeah, <that was> <laughs> I, I feel we should we should create another one. Why should we get Should we get the uh, the yeah, viewers to the suggest? Chat, yeah. uh, the, the chat the chat appears so appears not to be working on this, which means I shall have to <laughs> which means get everyone's, another everyone's just in a computer device. Screen. In which point, everyone can talk over the story and the morals and so, the longer meanings. Anyone seen any horror films lately? What is a cunt pipe? <laughs> I'll tell you when you're 18 <laughs> okay. 
That makes Alan, perfect. actually, you'd I, seen some. I've got a talking what? point before we go. Very no, I, I, it's, oh, it's okay. It's just, just no, 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 no. Alan just get asked a question, and you just came in here and just started <laughs> fucking talking and talking and talking. You think you'd set this whole thing up yourself? <laughs> the yes. smile is dead on his yeah. face. <laughs> <laughs> Who did you watch? Uh, well, funnily enough, a I, double bill. Yes, you? I had quite a weekend's viewing this weekend. I watched both Demons and Zombie Four after, after death, death yes. with an amazing. Yes, yes. 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 The was... one with the eighties. No, no, it is. Yes, exactly. None no, worries, no that's a cocoon in a tub. It was a, a strange concoction, uh, to say the, the very least. I mean. You know, if, if Double Feature has taught us anything, it's I know hee haw about horror films, but I do have this strange true. liking for kind of uh, golden age Italian zombie films for some reason. And a few months ago, I watched the third. You know, I finally got round to working through the, the zombie films in sequence, and uh, this time it was which the is a minefield. Oh god, I know. Uh, I'm looking forward to Zombie Ninety. Like well, there's. It, it depends which ones you take as being official and which ones you don't, because I guess if you view Zombie 90 as being a thing that exists, <laughs> there would be six. But Zombie 90 is by the same guy that did Violent Shit, remember we're talking about Violent Shit? the same guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Well, so, I mean, I say that there would be six, but I guess, I guess the first one is technically Dawn of the Dead, so... Which in yeah. Italy was called Zombie, Zombie. okay. Yeah. Then uh, Zombie Flesh Eaters came out, right. which they called Zombie 2, right. to cash in. And, of course, Zombie 3 then yeah. followed some years later. But uh, I don't know. Do, did Zombie Four to... come after that? It, funnily enough, it did. You know, this is shocking. Right, four, four I've got my finger on the pulse here. But but Zombie Four was actually a film called After Death, which was originally nothing to do with the. Yeah, I think none of them are connected. Yeah, so what, 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 I watched the fourth one, which was After Death, and uh, you know, afterwards I did feel like death. No, it was, it, it was surprisingly competent. You know, I mean, I, the first I love professional filmmakers and their movie was surprisingly <laughs> competent. Yeah, yeah, Alex trying to be as nice yeah, as he yeah, can about yeah. guys. That's, that's, that's no, my box it's cool classic. Right there. It's it was a it was a strange beast to say the least. I mean, the first ten minutes of it, I just thought it was incredibly cheap looking. I thought it had been filmed in like the old sets from the Crystal Maze. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to but, uh, yeah, Well, yeah, I think that's supposed to be doing as a service Take to the that Crystal back. Maze. But uh, you know, as as it went on, I mean, it's, it was all right. I think the my main issue with it is probably just that it felt like all the the best material had been cribbed from other films. Effectively, mm. you know, are you accusing the Italians of plagiarism, Alan? I would not make such. <laughs> and switching sides. Sorry. Oh, oh god. Oh, oh, we're, in, we're in offensive territory. What, what's Jackie Boy saying? Do I know does still have pink? Oh ah, yeah. No, totally. Uh, yeah, I'll definitely. Go along with that. Romero, Goblin, and Argento. Mm. Are we just following cinema snob reviews now? <laughs> <laughs> I think I think uh, we're yeah the the um, zombie zombie actually, ninety I think he covered that didn't he? Yeah, yeah. Was. Or it was zombie seven or something. I think Heaven forbid that. someone else on the internet <laughs> saw <know>. me. Let's <laughs> <Don't worry, laughs> <laughs> <just> have our own <laughs> life. <laughs> Um, what I was going to say, you've just it's not finished. He's not got to his second film yet. He's still mid. Are we st are we doing? Are you doing both movies? We need a talking stick. Yeah. We, mm. Yeah, we, we could save the second. What one to hit me with? Well, I don't agree sorry. with that. That's a remote. <laughs> okay, sorry, sorry everyone. It's actually quite sharp. You can use it to sign continue. Out and I, I was speaking. not aware you hadn't finished that. Apologies. Yeah. Yeah. Is that, I, I, we can come back to it later. I was going to say I'll finish the first one just now. We can always come back to demons later on. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's. It's, it's not it's not a great film by any stretch of the, Amer uh, the imagination. The imagination. Imagination. But, uh, yeah, no, I mean, I, I thought it was quite... Uh, I, I, it surprised me how much I got into it as it went mm. on. I mean, the, the cast was not tremendous, right? It's difficult to tell when it's dubbed. See, the, main, the, main, ca the main male character in it. Yeah, it was... Hello. Uh, the main was, male character in it was a former porn star. I was a about, gay porn yeah, star. I was going to mention the that. Was Jeff Sylvester Stallone actually a porn star? Because was he not meant to be like the Italian selling, but is that true? Was it not that he was in a porn film, but in a non sexual yeah, like, role? No, no, he, he was in a movie. Out. He was right. in a movie called Party at Kitty and Studs, and he played the, the character. He actually stunt. fixed the pipes. But it was, it was a He came and actually movie. fixed wow. the sink it was, and didn't shag the woman. Yeah. That was it. Anyways. You know, when you know that he's a porn actor, though, you do you kind of become immediately very aware of the fact that he's he's, he's not spent a lot of time with shirt off. Well, yeah, yeah, he goes yeah. around the whole film. With, it's not even that he has his shirt off because you know some of the other characters do that and they look perfectly normal. But, but he actually December. seems to have he actually seems to have man cleavage. Is what he, he's got. What he's walking. He's walking about so with like, the with best greased up. Abs. He's walking yeah. around with like greased, greased up abs yeah, and stuff. And it's, it's like, come on, it's you've it's just come straight from the other set. You've not even been through makeup. It's a totally phallic performance. Yeah. A but, but it's, 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 it's a horror film. As a, as a horror film, though, what did you? 
It's yeah. I mean, it, it was it, it got the From job the director done. Of show I think it's, uh, wait, is it the same? Oh yeah, because it was uh, Claudio Fragazio. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. the guy who I only really knew before from having written Zombie Creeping Flesh, mm. and uh, this certainly made a lot more sense than that film did. I would give it that. It took. It didn't uh, stretch itself quite as far. Yeah, unlike oh, its star. Uh, no, but it didn't. Oh, it didn't God. try. And, it didn't try. And, it didn't try and spread itself too thinly over a, over a low budget. Like Zombie yeah. Creeping Flesh tries to be this big international intrigue film. And Zombie uh, Four yeah. is like just this. It, it is very much one location, almost. Yeah. yeah. I mean, there's. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I, think Mike just had, Mike, I think Mike's just flushed himself out of the airlock. But Sorry. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. But uh, yeah, no, it's. Uh, yeah, I mean, I was surprised at how much I enjoyed it. It mm. was it was quite a decent little watch. The only the zombies talking it. Yeah, that's well, what I was going to say. It's quite evil dead. A, that's exactly what I was going to say. Because uh, you know, it was in the I felt like they nobled some of the best bits from other mm. films. There was a bit of the Evil Dead in there. But yeah. The, the, uh, yeah, weird talk. Hello, Brian. It's actually a bit like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's yeah. like it's like join us, and then yeah, a guy yeah. was the guy guess we'll be together again, and then the yeah. guy's lying there with a grenade. He goes, yeah, we'll be together in hell. And I was surprised at how those, those grenades suddenly came back into play at exactly the right. Yeah, we see them early in the film, and then yeah. they're ignored for like a yeah, long period, and then reappear. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, it's definitely worth watching just so as you can say you've you've seen it. it of, like, yeah, it's, it's, it's the kind of film where um, oh. they randomly find a box of M16s at as the right, you do, the right yeah, moment. Because <laughs> the place is supposed to have been deserted for twenty years, yeah. and then they suddenly find this box and machine guns that are in perfect working order. It's yeah. There I, you go. I saw a film this weekend. Tell us about it. <laughs> Actually, it was last week. I had a migraine. For yeah, like, do you want to have the, the talk? Yes, thank you. I had a migraine <laughs> for uh, three days and uh, couldn't get much work done, so instead I watched a bunch of films. Mm. But I watched one called Let's Scare Jessica to Death. Oh, is that? I've heard of that. 1960. Is that an early Argento film? No. 70s, no. Um, oh no, was it 70s? I don't know. Um, but it was, it, was, it was quite interesting. It was... Oh Christ, I'd, let's see him. Is it? Oh God. <laughs> the wig's not on properly. Wait, I, 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 right, just oh. hold it. Does the hair oh not remind you a little God. bit of Stanley? Oh, no! I look, I look like I'm in a really shit punk band. <laughs> from Jesus Christ! Let's that's get. actually quite. Feel it, feel it, feel the cheeks and that's stuff. That's actually like, quite. It, uh, I wish it's can, it's we, can we let the people, oh, the quite, folks at home, feel it's, it's quite disturbing. <laughs> <laughs> Although, yeah. Pre- press your Cal screen should now. Explain what this is. And why, why we, ha- why you have a head? <laughs> <What>? <laughs> ah! <laughs> it's like. <laughs> It's Lex Luthor! <laughs> Probably. Hello. Yeah, Mike was slightly worried about the fact that we've made a death mask over me. <laughs> here's here's Whoa, Michael's original. Really went. <laughs> <laughs> You're looking good. What are? This is uh, for an upcoming film we're working on, but uh, Jackie Boy's actually asked about Chris's film. Oh, and uh, Dead of Night. Um, yeah, we shot a film a couple of months ago called In the Dead of Night, and we've just been editing it. Try to trying out a couple of things with it, and it's about a security guard in a nursing home. Um, Michael, late at night, head. and at home, <laughs> an abandoned nursing home at that. Um, and it's a ghost story. It's the first thing really that I sort of co-directed for the channel, um, and my friend Chris uh, co-directed it with me. And hopefully, it will be out in a bit. Of What's wrong? Sorry, I've got Callum's antics in the background. <laughs> Anyway, let's scare, yeah. let's scare Jessica to death. It's yeah. it's about the so it's like giallo, isn't it? Um, no, not really. It's how can we possibly? I can't. I, how, am I, how am I supposed to concentrate when you're smothering my face? <laughs> That's why you can't do this around with patience. Uh, I'm you reenacting the the opening of Twin Peaks, there, Carl. You know, as in he's dead wrapped in plastic. Do you know what? I'm going to talk about that film so later on. Let's scare Sorry. Jessica to death. Yes. Continue. Okay, let's do it. Let's, um, like, let's do Jessica today. No, it's, a, it, it's about um, a, a man and his partner, Jessica. Jessica's obviously came out of some sort of psychiatric treatment mm. recently. And the two of them and their friend decide to... So they, they decide to go to this remote little town somewhere in America. Jesus. Uh, somewhere in America and set up uh, like a, a farm. Mm. But... There's a sort of question of whether a witch used to live in the house that, mm. that they've, they've moved into. And okay. when, they, when they get there, they find that there's a squatter there. Right. Another, la- another lady. And she ends up staying with them. And it's, it, it's, 
It's actually okay. It's mm. quite good, but I had never heard of it before. I've heard of it vaguely. It's, it's Italian, isn't it? No, no. 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 I've, I've heard, heard of it. It's, yeah. yeah. it's got one of those long Italian sounding uh, names, like Four Flies Under Grey Velvet. But it's on Netflix know. anyway, so mm. maybe we won't talk about it a lot because maybe it's something People we can do. People keep asking to hear about the shorts. No, oh, oh, that's you. <laughs> no, 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 seriously, no. Jackass and then Alec Ghost. Jackass? As well. <laughs> well, that's what I'm saying. We've got. Um, in the Dead of Night's finished, so it really should be. We've got a cut of it now, but I'm going to shorten it a little bit, I think. Um, remove all the blatant pornography that's in it, <laughs> I think that really. Are you I don't know, really. I really think the close ups of Chris's arse were uh, really added something <laughs> special to the film. It's written by Chris, who played uh, the main character and in me, Blackout. I, I added stuff to it, but. Listen. I have to have his credits over in! Well, originally it was. it's it's Chris's idea and uh, Mike made it good Chris set it up no <laughs> don't how dare you grab some gum um, yes thank you so I, Chris came up with the idea and wrote a treatment for it and while we were filming it I added in a few ideas and he was kind enough to say why don't you put in a cold thing because it was Chris's together. first rodeo so to speak writing he hadn't written anything before really no I'd written some stuff he wrote one of the funniest things mm. I have ever, I don't know if there's anybody here, Jackie Boy maybe, we do a podcast very, very rarely called The Rabblecast, <laughs> the nurse dildo sequence needs to stay in, Jackie, it's a double dildo sequence. Um, oh, double feature. Uh, 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 I was waiting for somebody oh, to say that. Christ. Oh, I love but anyway, that <laughs> on an older channel, I did like a, a five minute radio play with Chris. A oh, couple of years I ago, um, the murder and it was a real one. It was one that was actually made for for uh, a, a radio station in America when they didn't have enough, like, they didn't have enough time to start up a full story, but they were left with like five mm. minutes of air. So they would write like a little five minute mystery. Mm. So me and Chris did the voices mm. for that, and it's quite funny. But he actually wrote some original ones. Okay. And they're hysterical. Have although you, have I, you done I, them though? No, but I don't know if they can be broadcast. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it's yeah, so I was just funny. thinking that you know we were just uh, you know you know blessing, but uh, when you mentioned that Chris had written something that was the funniest thing you'd ever said, I was I was just waiting for you to say, but we can't show it because it's yeah. Expensive. Well, anyone who's listening <laughs> yeah. to the to the old. Yeah. Uh, podcast that uh, you'll know that Chris likes to live on the edge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway, what about what about the other films? Yes, uh, we've got a few other films in pre-production. More, more, more scripts and more ideas, and we know what to do with. Yeah, unfortunately, um, we're kind of paralysed with choice. Cool. I, I was under depression. I was talking, but don't hit me with the talking <laughs> stick. Don't hit me with the talking stick. You hold the talking stick, Calum. I don't see you hold it. Where is it? Where's the talking right stick? Here. It's fucking anarchy because there's no talking <laughs> stick. Lawrence, right? Oh. Um, Basically, we've got a film that we've been working on since, I, I want to say September 2013. That's correct. Um, so it's been going on for a while and it's got a lot of effects. And Five minute film that we've been working on since 2013. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no shit. Um, and it's changed format in a lot of ways and it's mainly because me and Martin have had to learn how to do a lot of effects for it. And that's not because me and Martin are slow. It's just because it's been quite difficult. But we have, basically, lives. We have lives as well. Unfortunately, we don't just sit yeah, around making lives films. Lives and waves. Always. How good yeah. did that be? Um, but what devil? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but no, basically, uh, we had to learn how to do a lot of the effects, and recently we've had a bit of a breakthrough with those heads. I bumped into uh, a girl I used to go to uni with that actually works across the road from my flat, and she's now doing special effects stuff. So she was, we gave her the plaster cast that we'd originally done of Jon Michael's Heat, um, and we managed to. She made up these gelatin heads from it, and they're way better than anything else we'd managed to. So, one hundred percent practical prosthetics as well. Yeah, None it's going to be CGI ace, but shit. The beautiful thing is we we built both. <laughs> he's built both of these and done a good job of them, and then we're going to set them on fire. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, real fire as well. Real fire. This is, yeah. See, this is why no it's shit, taken us no two years. Work. We're not. We're, we've not. We could have resorted, I think, to. Uh, I mean, may I also say at and, uh, this point that they put me through absolute hell and. Uh, to film some of it, and now they're probably not going to use. No, it. we we will, we will. No, you uh, won't. We will. He won't. It's a nightmare. Jack, Jack Rupert says he's, he, he imagines we're all in an under, <laughs> underground bunker from the first Resident Evil film, and the windows to the right is fake. 
Oh, there's a hair that we how, did, how did that comment? How did that comment? Wait, how did Jack Reaper sense? get the talking <laughs> stick? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jack Reaper's, <laughs> Jack Reaper's always got the talking stick. Um, right, one of my talking points that I'd like to go into is there's the new Terminator film coming out, <laughs> right? And as we know, it recreates. If anyone Which is relevant trailer, to horror if you've yeah, seen the trailer. The anyone who's seen the Terminator the, film. Anyone that's <laughs> seen the new trailer um, or the original trailer will know that the original Terminator's in it, the 1984 one and he fights old Arnie in it but because it's a 12A movie they've removed his penis he's going to be like a Ken doll really? so it's going to be a full size Terminator but with no dick see on, now, on one hand that kind of makes sense because he's a robot he wouldn't need a penis no but doesn't the original one he's fucking going everywhere I'm coming to this I'm coming to this. Like the original one you can see it in the shadows like flailing about you also like the guys that he goes up and speaks to don't freak out that there's a dickless man standing right there with <laughs> <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and, then, and then Terminator 2 he walks into a bar and a woman looks down at his crotch and goes and then looks yeah. up at him so clearly she's not g- but getting, it wouldn't be like, very good as an infiltrator if they said do you mind just taking your pants off no I'm shy <laughs> He's a fucking <laughs> robot. You know what? Like, Dead. like, would it really have hurt them to just show the penis? In a twelve A, probably. But wouldn't, uh, yeah, but this is the whole point. It shouldn't be. A, it shouldn't be a PG thirteen or twelve A. It should be. Not just shot it in such a way that you wouldn't <laughs> see just it. the dick. Just <laughs> shot it. <laughs> <laughs> like, open the first shot. Bang. Bang. Just, show it. <laughs> just the, <laughs> the first movie, just oh. an uppercut and just remove it. Oh. The thing is oh. that, that I heard about the, the new Terminator film is that they had. There's a big twist hmm. in the film. And that because but it's in the they, trailer. Because they think that the word of mouth is going to be so bad on it. We were talking about this kind Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That um that basically they released the, the most recent trailers, the last two trailers I think, mm-hmm. has included the massive twist. Right, just really? to try and get as as many. Is that like they did with Terminator Salvation, where they showed the scene with Arnold in it in the later trailers? Like it was um, no, but they showed the Sam Worthington as a cyborg, which was the mm-hmm. twist in the movie yeah, yeah, before yeah. they went in it. I've read the script and it it's fucking terrible. rotten. It's terrible. Yeah. Right. Uh, Arnie, can I... Well, like, without without spoiling, spoiling anything it, right? the second <laughs> half. You know, you know right. how the whole thing about the Terminator 2 is that he fights a T-1000 and it's more... Advanced. More advanced than him and that's where the scare of, a time. He has of a that hell of a time comes. fighting yeah. that T-1000. In yeah. this new movie, he destroys a T-1000, a T-800, a T-850 and another special new Terminator. See, to be honest, I'm alright with that because it's Arnie. <laughs> but <laughs> but the, 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 this, is perspective yeah. make the, this is something that happens in all the Terminator films. Like, if you notice in the first Terminator, Arnold, like Kyle Reese, shoots shoots him about seven or eight times, and it's that's enough. Like with a shotgun, that's enough to knock him down. And him, for him momentarily to think he might have destroyed the Terminator, yeah. he looks at it like, mm-hmm. "Have I defeated the Terminator?" Then, then like later in the film, like pipe bombs and that, like dist- he basically is blown in half by a pipe bomb, right? Mm-hmm. And then by the time we get to the third film. The T eight hundred is able to hold up like a like a twenty ton blast door. door blast door. Oh yeah, and by the way, he gets he gets crushed by a small machine in a factory in the first film. In the the third film, he's holding up a twenty ton blast blast door one it, hand while killing ha- a TX with been, the other hand. He has been in a in a truck though that got blown up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he, he's he's I mean, and he's he also damaged. wore he's Ellen like, John's glasses in that movie, so that's <laughs> yeah, that yeah. Sense. But then I mean, it, it's it, the whole. Th- then in the th- in the fourth film, in Terminator mm. Salvation. Don't get onto the TV show. I don't. We can't I don't. get to it. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Who's got a talking stick here? That's talking stick. The worst thing. Where is it? Where is it? I don't even see it. It's a metaphorical talking stick. And in the in the fourth film, like suddenly the Terminator's crap. Like when he attacks uh, John Connor, instead of like just tearing his heart out like he does the guy in the first film, he just throws him against some walls a few times. Like he's got mm. John Connor right there, the mm. one thing he's yeah. been trying to destroy. But the terror has been trying to destroy. It's, it's like they never it's it. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's one thing though to get back onto the topic of horror and icons of horror. Right? You're the one that brought us off the topic of horror. No, no, but you, no, no, but I just said he didn't have a willy. <laughs> <That's laughs> but. Uh, Evil Dead TV show. Yes. Uh, Everyone excited for it? Oh yeah. God, yes. 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 Now, Definitely. can I say it's been made by stars who a lot of people have looked at that and gone, <laughs> is that some fucking shitty like reality TV show? But they did um, Spartacus Blood yeah. and Sand and the first series of that was pretty good. Um, absolute tragedy, that guy. He died of cancer really, really oh, young. Which um, guy? The, the guy who played the, the Spartacus type right. character in that yeah, room yeah. Uh, he was a really good actor could have had a good career at least as good as someone like what he was quite similar to Sam Worthington right, I right. can't remember his actual name what but killed him? So what, got got no, uh, cancer um, but 
look him up because he's a very good performance for him and he was supposed to be in all the rest of the Spartacus mm. and as a result the kind of later series suffered a little bit mm. because of the fact that uh, unfortunately he had a slightly untimely he, demise he really has brought this closer into horror hasn't he yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so back to, so back to Evil Dead well, sorry, well, sorry for taking a minute to think, think of a man's think, mortality do you think the plural of Spartacus is Spartacai Spartacodes Sparta so, so, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, Evil Dead TV series, how do you think it'll work? I think it'll be pretty good because, I mean, you've got the, the same crew pretty much back together. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's what's um, You've got Lucy Lawless in it as well. Yeah, that, that as seems as like a good yeah. yeah, It's quite pretty interesting because obviously she worked with those guys before on Hercules and Xena. Xena Warrior she? Princess. What, what I want to know though is, is it. It's old Ash. So. Yeah, yeah, but when does it take place? I think it'll take place like long after. Fuck. Um, I think it'll follow the timeline or roughly mm-hmm. vaguely the timeline of the American sh- version of Evil Dead where it, it ah, really doesn't right, it comes back so to the present day the one most ah, people saw ah. yeah. um, that'd be cool if he was but I think I th- I, I, my vibe my vibe is they're going to have like that all as a vague backstory they're not really going to be too yeah. specific with it they'll be like oh my friends died in the cabin and not really kind of tell yeah. you which one well, like, every you know. time, well every time I mean you had Evil Dead 1 which was an out and out horror film and then Evil Dead 2 was sort Evil of Evil Dead 1 had humour ha- as well half and half and the <laughs> first 20 minutes Evil Dead 2 is like a remake of the oh, first yeah, film yeah. and then the beginning of Army of Darkness rewrites what happened at the end of Evil Dead yeah. 2 so they well, change well, it it's change it much well it rewrites no, what happens when he gets to the yeah, past the but they actually use footage from Evil yeah, Dead 2 yeah but I'm, I mean the yeah. way the, the car drops ah and, and he doesn't that. kill a dragon at the start yeah. and all that shit yeah. though I do yeah. love the shot in the first Evil Dead where the car drops into the fucking mats <laughs> No, that's the second. The second film. Not, he lands on mats. And they use it in Army of Darkness as well. As well. crash mats. He, on cra- the he lands on the crash mat. But the first, the fir- the ending of the first one. Is, no, wait. The ending of Evil Dead Two is really weird because they obviously did it on a bit of a low budget. But as a result, they've got a real weird setup because mm. it's like a, a whole hodgepodge of different armors. Like yeah. they're obviously not all uh, European. Yeah, yeah. They're like different ones. So as a result. It creates a really weird vibe. Vibe. Right? Yeah. Whereas then later on they went into like proper that, the king ending, the ending, the ending to Evil Dead Two is one of the, the best endings to horror, like twi- almost twist ending, but not quite. It's yeah. just completely thrown out there to a horror film ever. It's like it's similar to the way, um, like the the way that it totally flips genre into something completely that you didn't mm. see coming. Like the, almost like the way you know Cabin in the Woods, mm. how it goes from being that kind of gothic horror or that kind of that kind of teen horror to being like almost like a weird sort of sci-fi kind of. Have you seen Cabin in the Woods? Is under extreme and Josh Whedon is under extreme fire at the moment. Why? Sure. Well, I say extreme fire. There's some crackpot that wrote a story that alleges basically everything in his story was the inspiration for place in a cabin in woods <laughs> and there's four Give people me money. but like a lot of it's really tenuous but it's yeah. like a 11 million dollar lawsuit or something I really liked Cabin in the Woods it's one of the best, 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 best you need to you need to get behind decade. what it is I think yeah. like with Cabin in the Woods I, like, you need to appreciate that it's kind of a parody of the whole oh, thing because totally some people look at it and just go it's a shit horror movie but you need to see that layer it's I like, like Shaun, of the dead, Shaun of the Dead it's yeah. A tribute parody, mm. and it's also uh, uh, it, it works within the genre yeah. as well. Mm. I think. See what I didn't like about it, and I know it kind of misses the point slightly. Was the very ending of it? Because thematically, it makes. I'm not going to spoil it because anyone hasn't seen it. But thematically, it makes sense. So it makes sense in terms of the argument the filmmakers are making about thinking about what have we become about horror and and about what humanity's become and all that. But in terms of the actual logic of what the characters choose to do. Mm-hmm. Doesn't really make any sense at all. What they're actually, what they, the, if you actually think about the repercussions of what they do right at the end of the film, makes no sense whatsoever, logically. Although it makes sense from to us sitting watching it as a film, like, oh, I see what they did there, but they would never do that in Sorry. real life. <laughs> Jared Leto's Joker. Uh, have, have you seen it? Yeah, he looks like a really, really, Shall really, I bring it up? really. It looks like someone who's like he should, he should be in Gundy. Yeah, like we're uh, punk. <laughs> no, you're not. Did they not say that they're not using the tattoos now, though, or something? Possibly, because a lot of people have so, moaned about it. But well, the one on his forehead that says "damaged," that's the I killer. They're, I think they're really. definitely taking that's that That's like out. something. I think they're definitely taking really that out. Yeah, yeah. They said that. Well, at least the last I heard. Yeah. Yeah. This is I the thing that get, this is the thing that gets me though. Oh, I get a full size. Yeah. <laughs> he's a good actor. Yeah, he's a good I, actor. I've That's got massive time for him. Oh, fuck he looks off. right. Wait, 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 wait. But he looks like he's in a goth version of Bros. He, he looks like he. Yeah, <laughs> he, he looks like he's in an industrial band or something. He looks like he's in Einstein's End of Neubauten or something like. 
I, actually, what it said to me when I first saw it was the prodigy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. yeah, yeah it looks yeah, a bit like definitely the prodigy yeah. then, eh? Yeah. But well, I, I, don't, I don't know. I mean, I'm all for. Fuck off! <laughs> like, I love Batman. Mm-hmm. But see, at the end of the day. Batman doesn't love you. He <laughs> <laughs> doesn't even know you exist. I'm a bit. I wish they'd taken a bit of a break. And mm. also, they don't need to do the Joker. Mm. You know, uh, like there's so yeah, many too great, obvious. There's so many uh, great villains. Yeah. Within that, anyway, you know, you enjoying this horror live stream? Yeah, well, no, the, I mean, the killing jokes are pretty. Uh, that's yeah, the pose for the some. killing joke. But I but thought it was damaged uh, on his forehead. Mm. It's, it's, even the, it's even the typeface. I mean, it's got. <laughs> <laughs> the graphic, <laughs> yeah, the graphic <laughs> art is <laughs> unspoken. <laughs> the font they've it, used. It, it really is just that, you know. It's, it's, sort of, it's the sort of when folk get tattoos are like, only God uh, can yeah. judge me on the inside of their arm. Or, and get it spelled wrong. <laughs> Yeah. Only dog can judge me. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I bet you somebody watching has got that tattoo and is like completely offended right now. And the thing is, as I well, actually know some of my tattoo. Now I think about that, says exactly uh, that, and then say they're I've on a not watching it. That say only dog can judge me on yeah. the side of your arm. Of course it does. That's fine. Do you guys have a tattoo? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> a massive tattoo. No, you don't. On his <laughs> ass. You've never told me about this. Why would I do? Do you want to see it? Yeah. I don't have a tattoo, you fucking... Yeah, exactly! <laughs> Jack Reaper, I know everything about you! <laughs> Jack, 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 Reaper says he using, really, yeah. Jack Reaper says you should be using comic so songs. For the joke, yeah. do you know that would be strangely appropriate? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I know, just someone sitting there going, absolutely not, it's Batman. Damn Why does it have to be comic songs? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody spat on me there and I'm not Probably sure Probably me, was. I've got a bit of a Bunnies. scatter gun thing. Like I'm thing. just reading through my talkie points here, and one of them is Terminator. No, no penis. No, like, no, no, um, more, the other one I was going to bring up is. <laughs> you the, said you're going. The return. Thank you. The return of M Night Shyamalan. Anyone got any thoughts about this? Where's he returning from? <laughs> Shite spell. Uh, Fortress of Solitude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not. I'm not against the guy having another crack of the whip. Just you know, as long as, as, long as he can do something. You know, half decent. Do you think he can make a movie without a twist in it, or do you think That's it would kill him? <laughs> The problem, the problem with Shyamalan like is, is that <laughs> when you when you watch uh, Sixth Sense and Unbreakable, I think they're both great movies, right? By the time you get to Signs, which I actually think is okay, but when you get to Signs, you start to realise that he starts off with a twist. Two seconds, mm-hmm. Martin, are you helping yourself to the ice? Yeah. When you when start, I- when you when you, when you start off with a twist, and then try to build everything around that. Yeah. You try and just squeeze in everything you can to make that moment happen, and, yeah. and then when mm-hmm. you get to like the village, it's like the whole setup is just for this really weak twist reveal. Um, well, and th- lady in the water. Science was really effective up until the twist. I mean, mm-hmm. the fact as soon as you sit and think about why would aliens invade a planet that's seventy five percent water if they've got an allergy to water, water and you're just like, <laughs> sit down, I'm like. Uh, it's f- it gets ridiculous it's like swing away swing away and you, if it wasn't the human phoenix you'd just be like fuck off I mean the cast's great yeah and I don't care what people say I like Mel Gibson they probably talk not his political views <laughs> yeah there's your fucking luxury water oh, oh, you can, you can give me ice <laughs> Jesus and Christ yeah. uh, those, that ice uh, did you take it out of the bags Mark it's urine no I took it out, I took out the, the rubber thing Oh, yeah. right, okay, because I was going to say that those bags were used to keep the heads cold oh, in transit. They came, it was amazing, me and Martin had to go and pick up the bags from this girl. Well, those hell's heads melt then? If you yeah, they're gelatin, so they'll just, oh. like, rot. Uh, oh. So we met her in a car park with two chiller bags <laughs> full of ice, and I opened up both heads to look in, this woman came in and literally was so close to just turning around and fucking running away. <laughs> how, how freaked out was one of the women that the came in? The lady that came by and looked straight in the cooler bag and saw a severed head. Yeah, that was kind of... I was kind of concerned about that, but what's-her-face didn't seem too bothered. She yeah, no, Chris Nutt says, Signs make sense if the aliens are demons and the water is holy water. That's fair enough. Yeah, but then... Can you bless the whole scene? <laughs> <laughs> Signs is actually not a bad film That's up until the very end. Okay. Um... Yeah. But that's what I'm saying. He, he, he seemed to get totally obsessed by mm. 
uh, uh, a, a twist. A payment, so we actually, if you could get yeah, I know what you mean. The whole thing's built around the twist to the point yeah. that, it, that everything else suffers. It's like a magic trick, though, but it's like a two-hour-long magic trick that with a big fucking blow. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but then when you get to the point where the, the, the twist's no longer good, uh, then it's the, the whole thing. The, 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 in there for the sake of yeah, 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 exactly. The twist in um, in the village it sounds good on paper. But it's really badly done. But the funny thing is about the village is that it could be really, really effective if they hadn't went so. and had that twist. See if there had been a creature <coughs> in the woods. Or it would I have been really effective if they'd done that twist halfway through, and then mm. you see the repercussions of what happens. Mm. Um, but then, w- if you guys haven't seen it, then well, we move on from movie discussion. To yes, some actually, ours. Jackie Boy was asking what we feel about the Jurassic World trailer. <laughs> Chris Which Pratt training the raptors. He says it makes sense if you see it, and I trust Chris Pratt. I love Chris Pratt. I would go as far as to say I have a man crush on him. Unfortunately, it's surname, but... <laughs> yes. But I have to say that the subsequent trailers have looked better, but the first couple, I think, looked a bit shoddy, and I'm I'm, just, I'm not mm. entirely convinced yet. Yeah. Shamalanga Ding Dong. Who yeah. was it that who was it that called him that? I someone see Shamalama Dang. No, no, yeah, someone but said someone that. Called, oh. Someone famous got called him that. Shamalama Ding Dong. Aye. It's a good point where he says who's still giving the guy money. I mean, I, I think mm. I think Shyamalan potentially. I mean, he's, he da- he's had a, he has had a couple of good films. Mm. He's potentially got another few flukes left. In him. Still, but like, the question about people who get money for like the, who consistently make bad films and keep getting money, I'm yeah. thinking. Uvi Ball gets quite big. Yeah, but he's got a loophole for the well, German dead finance. Dead. Yeah, he's got he's got oh, Nazi gold. Yeah, that loophole. <laughs> but with, um, with Shyamalan, and, though, he, and, the, and the other one I'm thinking of is uh, Paul W S Anderson. Yeah, but his movies do make money. That's mm-hmm. the thing. Mm-hmm. Someone like Shyamalan, as soon as you make a movie like Signs, not Signs, sorry, Six Sense, <laughs> and you make the kind of fucking money that you did, he's still a bankable name, and producers don't always look at it critically. I'm sure probably all of his movies with the exception of probably The Happening it made well past their budget back mm. at least I'm that's sure it's just money that's, yeah. Yeah, that's probably it. calculated risk basically yeah. I think I mean, I think he does have I think he does have a, another good filmer one or two good films in him but he's got 40 bad shitty films before you get to them <laughs> like they'll be mixed in there among a bunch of shit films so mm. I'll probably see it I like the poster <laughs> yeah. Well, funny that you should mention. Oh no, sorry, that's the Shyamalan one. So uh, no, yeah, I, I, I'm I, thought, I, was, I, was, I was thinking of the Jurassic World one because I saw somebody going nuts about the Jurassic World poster online because the the perspective is wrong, <laughs> which I thought was again yeah, that was that's another. What is, what is the poster have we got? It, it's like there's a, a woman at a window staring at like there's it's like there's safety glass and then there's a T Rex and it's just a T Rex's balls. And I think it was, it was like the complaint was that the the vanishing point on the the, uh, the room doesn't match the vanishing, vanishing point, point outside. outside yeah. Right, yeah, they just photoshopped the window mm, in. Oh. There you go. Oh, nice. What you look like the thing out the village? The, la- the one <laughs> last thing. Peace now. The one last thing I was going to say before we go off of discussion topics was going to be uh, this Silent Hill. Oh yeah. Came what, this Norman Reedus made one by a YouTuber. Um, <laughs> no. <laughs> so they all got that. Okay, there you go. There you go. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, <laughs> <laughs> that's that's a that's a wee inside joke. Um, Is that yeah, Hill or something. <laughs> that'd be amazing. That'd be amazing. There's a place in Glasgow called Mary Hill, and it's equally scary. And um, if you fogged out, basically what's happened is Konami are making, uh, we're making a Silent Hill game with Guillermo del Toro. Yeah. And Hideo Kojima uh, of fucking batshit Metal Gear Solid fame and Snatcher and Snatcher yes and Police Knots and Police Knots yeah. yes um, but basically um, the game the game has now just collapsed. Roman Reedus I think has done all the mocap stuff for it and everything and essentially Konami's removed it from the store and they're no longer doing it because Hideo Kojima has just gone like. Back. fully mental has he went like, mental or is it Capcom well, I don't know Like the thing is not, they, yeah, they created Capcom the whole game I believe and he just went did you guys use that Fox engine that I created 
yeah you know he's not, not anymore can not just port it to another engine well I mean man doesn't make games <laughs> <laughs> you build something in no, an no, engine no I know but they've, you they've, can't, they've no, got but all the elements they've got the, they've got the I know they would, it would be basically like making a new game again but they wouldn't need any of the elements I don't be, think they've got the money got or the, the ability the, to the do textures, it textures they've got the voice acting they've got all that stuff well they, they, they just took themselves off the New York Shock Exchange so I think New Kenami York Shock would, Exchange no I think <laughs> that would be so I'm fucking apt for Silent Hill did you just take the piss out of me because I can't speak properly yeah I've got the I've got the I can't speak properly. I'm just kidding. I'm yeah, just skeleton everybody. Um, no, basically, cause, uh, I think um, Konami are fucking struggling, and Kojima is one of their big dogs, and I think he's going separate ways. So they're probably doing a bit of damage control, but it seems yeah. a bit of a shame that the entire project's collapsed. Because right. with stuff like that, you see stuff like that, and like the people that are looking forward to it get disappointed. But you've got to think about like all the guys on the ground floor that's keeping them in yeah. a job, right. mm-hmm. and all of a sudden. <laughs> Yep. Was was Kojima with Silent Hill from the start? I kind of want to see that. With that, with this new one, I'm not sure. I, mean, of the I don't, I don't no, know. The but no, no, he wasn't the original guy. No, no. The, origi- the original Silent Hill to this day is one of those games that had a profound effect on me. Mm-hmm. I remember getting it uh, at Christmas. I got the PS One. Was it called PS One? I think I got the PlayStation. Mm-hmm. Um, Back when it was the PS. Which I, I'm sure I've told this story before, but my brother worked. Uh, no, no, it's a good story. He worked, he, he, it was. It made a lot. We, we didn't have a lot of money, and my brother oh, he's worked guilty, you know. on the in the the run up to Christmas, and he, he worked his ass off in this new job, not literally. <laughs> uh, and yeah, he so, he bought, so he bought. <laughs> so he bought like, all these really nice presents for like me and my mum and dad, and I just remember him giving me this box to open up. It was a PlayStation. I couldn't believe it, but he he, he bought Silent Hill as well two amazing weeks over Christmas playing Silent Hill yeah. it. but it was one of those games that as I played it I was uncomfortable playing it mm. so like I was enjoying it but at the same time sometimes it would freak me out at mm. that time and I was like am I enjoying this no, it was I, always, great. I always liked it as you were you were knocking around sometimes you'd see something out the corner of your eye and you'd turn and yeah. there'd be nothing there you'd, mm. you'd like one of those little flappy things would appear at a window and then you turn the window and it'd be mm. gone you wouldn't be able to find it anywhere but you'd know it'd be around somewhere knocking about yeah. well I remember yeah. my friend used to have it and he couldn't actually physically play it looking at the screen so he would sit with the controllers and I had to sit it's just Alan being assaulted by some bottles um, <laughs> basically um he had to sit with a d- doobie over his head or a sheet. Um, what, a doobie what? over his head? A doobie. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking no wonder he was tripping balls. Um, and I had to, he played with the controller and I had to basically go uh, go left, go right. And then eventually I got annoyed with that so I was like, go right. Oh, you went fast enough. But there was definitely a guy right. You've never seen right. Pan's Labyrinth? Yeah, exactly. fucking get all about that shit. Yeah. Pan's Labyrinth's the best thing he's done. Pan's Labyrinth's one of the fucking best films ever. No, I haven't seen Devil's Backbone. No, I mean, and I've got it on the shelf. I've watched bizarrely. I've watched some of it, and I'm a huge Del Toro fan. But I remember, I mean, the I can't remember Rift. why, but I watched. I watched half of it and then didn't watch the second half. Pan's Labyrinth? No, not Pan's Labyrinth. Oh, Pan's right, right, Labyrinth yeah. is Sorry. an incredible film and it's yeah. one of the greatest fantasy movies ever made. Great. One of the greatest horror films probably mm. ever made. And ever. there's not enough movie about Spanish fascists either. No, and it's also got one of the most shocking moments in film I've ever seen. Yeah, yeah, it's great. With, oh, don't. <laughs> um, I, think a, I think a couple of pages up, uh, I think it's Bing Bong, I want to say, um, asked, <laughs> We go. Question. There we go. What do you what guys that? think of the Batman versus Superman idea? Well, we're not going to answer that because it's not horror. Uh, it, 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 well, it, it looks like a right bloody horror. Do you sure. bleed? You will. Yeah. Has anyone seen the Photoshop someone's done with Wonder Woman? And Batman says, "Do you bleed?" He says, "Yeah, five days a week." And then oh, Batman's been oh, sick. God. <laughs> oh, it made me a bit choky. Oh. I didn't. I didn't mind the the bringing those two characters together but it just looks so joyless it really does yeah mm. I mean if they'd done it like this, the 60s one you know if it had been like you know kind of on screen sound effects mm. and mm. Uh, you know Batman trying to find somewhere to put a bomb you know some days you just can't remember of a bomb did, did some guy <laughs> did some guy not edit that trailer together really from the, oh, from the old the old 60s Batman oh. and the 80s Superman oh, some 80s Superman with the bright oh. colours and all that the problem I, th- I find and the reason that part of the reason I'm kind of 
don't really enjoy comic book films anymore is that they're this old drive to make everything yeah mm. pretty much but I find the films really joyless mm. uh, I enjoyed the old Batman I enjoyed mm. 70s 80s Superman I love the camera I'm you don't like Marvel then, because there is some joy I, like, I, I quite like Sam Raimi's Spider-Man can I say though I've seen mm. Age of Ultron and I would have to say one of the biggest issues with it is there's too many jokes Mm. There's like moments where there should be but, time but, to reflect what, on shit, and all of a sudden it's like, just like Robert Downey yeah. Jr. coming in going, Oh, ho, ho, another wee jeep, and it's just like, Somebody's yeah, yeah, yeah. just died, Robert! <laughs> Somebody's just died! <laughs> but I, I think, like, with, with Superman, it wasn't necessarily jokes, it was just the upbeat nature of it. It was just upbeat, oh, it was cheerful. Yeah. Just, you know. On the horror front, yes. I remember uh, years ago. I'm sure reading something about someone suggesting the idea of making a Batman horror movie. It would and work. It's something mm. that, I, that I've always thought would have been excellent. If you imagine, if you imagine putting Batman tracking down the killer in Seven. Not, mm. not Kevin Spacey. Mm-hmm. But you know, you, you yeah, know yeah. What I mean? spoilers. Oh, shit. oh, I'm sorry, Alan. Um, so something like, to use a suspect, something so. like that. You could. Because, I mean, certainly in a lot of the, the comics, they play up the gothic element of Batman, yeah. and, and you could definitely make like like that into something. Well, there's the, the fine line between from. like vigilante and psychopath for Batman, isn't mm. it? I mean, because he feels justified mm. in doing what he's well, doing. Michael Keaton is a psychopath. Yeah, <laughs> Michael Keaton, best Batman ever. Oh but. yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's no fucking context. I, know. I, know. I like what, Michael Keaton's Batman. Actually. Yeah, I mean, who, otherwise you've got Val Kilmer. And George Clooney. George George Clooney. Number one. The George Clooney. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then otherwise you've just got <laughs> Why <laughs> is my bears dead? Jackie boy, a good point uh, about like, Scarecrow in a horror movie. Mm-hmm. I mean, if you play the 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 Arkham games, there's there's some great sort mm-hmm. of horror elements mm-hmm. in that one. Mm-hmm. But anyway, sorry, we're taking this away from horror. That's all right. Pop but we're trying to find the horror in um, ten years things. That's what we're doing really well, man. I was going to say the best Batman I would have kind of said was it, I, I, I want to say Kevin Elroy but I don't know if I'm getting his Conroy. name right Con- is that oh it? yeah Kevin yeah. Conroy's the shit he is no doubt but then what I, seen him, but then yeah. what I would say is that have you seen him though like physically he could be Does Batman is this the anime yeah. the animated, the animated. right hang on I'm going to, I'm going to find a picture um, of him have you, have you guys well Cam's finding this picture have you guys did you guys ever hear about who was it that was going to make a Spider-Man movie was it David Cronenberg or was it Wes Craven one of those guys back when uh, I, I want to say Canon Films had the rights wow, to Spider Man. Canon that, Films was James, that was James Cameron, was it not? No, no, no. This is way back in the eighties, right? right? It was Canon Films who did like uh, you know Transfers and all those movies? Yeah. They had the rights to Spider Man way before they that thought that been these. Way, way before they thought. <laughs> <laughs> Way before they thought that I'm okay, not there's sure that happened, but well, Kevin Conroy. This is Kevin Conroy. He could have been Batman. Actually, like, I'll yeah, come back to that. Right, he's got the right one for it. Yeah. Look, that's what he could have looked like as uh, Batman. Look, not so much there. <laughs> nah, he looks like Willem Dafoe. <laughs> <laughs> as long as he's behind a mask, it's fine. But no, oh, fucking hell. He's like in, in what? Oh. <laughs> Classic. Yeah, no, Kevin he, Conroy's got the voice. He does look like Bruce Wayne, though. Yeah. All oh, right. Um, but after so, being on heroin, I, I, no, <laughs> could could you look it up actually? Who did um, the canon film Spider Man? Who was, I think it may be Wes Craven, but I'm also sort of thinking J- uh, John, John Craven. Craven. <laughs> John Craven. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, no, it's double, John, double, end, double, end, double, end, double, 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 I'm not used to the keyboard. Uh, that's, that, that's what it is. Speederman. He's not used to the keyboard. <laughs> Speederman. Uh, <laughs> Canon films. He says a Spider-Man in film. One, top it one, says top jump one. to Canon, Canon films. films. Ju- no, no, just go back. Jump to Canon. Oh, no. <laughs> just, just, just jump. Don't, don't get oh, sidetracked. Go back. I, no, I, no, I've no, no. I've seen that before. <laughs> Peter Parker. You no, know. no. Like, okay. So, uh-huh. see, see. No, no. Look at the top of the screen there, Cam. You're, you're. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So down. Along, up, 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 click up, on up, the up, click and jump films. to Canon Films. Up, up at the top, up, top Spider Man. Up, right, up. there we go. Right, oh, right, right. you fucking retard. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Okay, so oh, Roger so Corman had the rights, right? Yeah, yeah, so Paul these Cooper. guys were right. 
Who, uh, hell? Toby Hooper, right? Okay, yeah. Bloody but hell. but his Toby version, Hooper. his version was basically he gets he gets bitten by the spider, which up to that point is the same. But at that point, he's transformed into a hairy, suicidal, eight-armed monster that lives in the basement. That's the version of Spider-Man. There is a film, uh, there is like a, a, another film about, and it's like kind of the Spider-Man thing, gets bitten by a spider. Yeah. Slowly turns into one. So I'm not sure what was supposed to happen. I think maybe like throughout most of the film, he's like... Shut up, Cal. Captain supposed- America rocks. I don't care what Captain you America say. Captain America shit. It's supposed to be. I think it's going. To, it's supposed to be like the fly. Basically, he was mm. turned into this mm. spider monster thing, and uh, I think at the end he eventually turns into Spider Man, the hero as we know and right. love him. But the, most of the film is him battling, turning into this Spider Man. He did turn that into that in the, the cartoon show. Yeah, yeah we do you remember? Awesome. In the cartoon show, he did actually turn uh, into the spider. Um, which was pretty freaky, but the, the <laughs> open folder porn collection. <laughs> <laughs> Not on this computer, this is right, a Birdman. I, I, I really right. wanted to see that. Birdman's shit hot. That's right. I don't know, are we, are we doing something beyond oh. the. Yeah, the yes, well, what, what I thought I thought we could perhaps do is attempt to go back to this. And get the, uh, and the guys get, at home oh, to get, yeah, some, yeah. get some input from the ladies and jelly spoons uh, at home. Oh. Well, I'm, I'm glad you didn't say the ladies and wheeler spoons. Okay. <laughs> Alan, I've Anyone got a not problem. In the UK or? is not going to follow right. that. Um, okay, so so dead air. Up. Okay, what so do you think about dead air, guys? <laughs> Shite. Yeah, I like the first one there. Right. Okay, so this is the same <laughs> thing we did as an like. intro for a laugh. Uh, we've got to essentially put together this horn. Let me just check that this is all okay. Splendid. I hope you know your parts of speech, guys. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, essentially, we need to create everything together. Right, so we need an adjective. Come on, tell us an adjective. We need quite a few adjectives. Yeah, yeah that's the problem. Is that how you pronounce it? Adjective, yeah. <laughs> what did you say? Adjective? Adge- Ad- adjective. Adjective, adjective, adjective. A- adjective. Okay, adjective, yeah, adjective. adjective. Doesn't matter, it's the same, pretty much. Just how you, how you put oh, it. Oh, Jackie boys are way to watch Game of Thrones. Um, Fuck you, Jackie. Tyrion oh, gets well, captured well, well by... Um, Don't, I've not ever watched any of Game of Thrones yet, and I've managed to not spoil it for myself, because I will watch all of it. Some Adju- is fisting an what? adjective? I think. No, it's not. It's a, adjective <laughs> is a descriptive word. But, um, see you later, Painfully, Jackie. painfully is... Uh, painfully? Would be, yep, yep. Okay. Okay, we'll call that Jack. We'll call painfully the adjective for fisting. Okay. <laughs> well, uh, actually, can we not put? A we can do it for. There's not a verb, is there? Adverb. Words that describe no, no, an action. No, so verb. no, 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 no. <laughs> verb is the word you're looking for, but I don't think there's an option for verb. No, adverb. No, adverb is like adverb. slowly. <laughs> blah blah blah. You're, you're thinking of yeah, verb. Fisting. No. He was fisting no, up the stairs. No, that's yeah. a verb. An adverb. I've got a fucking degree in English. It's a fucking verb. <laughs> An adverb describes the action. <laughs> if it was an adverb, would it not be fistingly? Uh, wig- yeah, fistulously. No, fistula is what you get if you spend uh, too much time w- Wiggly, is that technically? Yeah, yes, that's it is. A, yes, that's, yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh. Creamy, I like that. Yep, oh, they'll do. Oh, God. They'll do. Creamy. Oh, I'm going to sick my mouth then. <laughs> Wiggly. If only we could get Kevin Conroy on to narrate. We should change this to a different story because this is story number one, so it's story oh, number two. Oh, yeah. Is there different stories? There must be. Um, you caught that. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> right, how do is we that the mafioso? Uh, <laughs> how, how, how do we change the story? Well done. How do we change? You'll go far. <laughs> You'll fuck it. Oh, we should. <laughs> <laughs> Ma- it's called Mad Lib, right? But that's story one. So is there a story two somewhere? Uh, well, I would like to hope so. Wait, wait. Tips. Don't try and think. Use your story down. Try and make it Scroll story. down. No. Keep scrolling. <laughs> About crucifixion games. Make it. No, I don't know. That's not. Right, well, let's just do Uzo Nazi. Random obituary. There must be an element. Right. Horror story Mad Lib. Random obituary generator of doom. <laughs> 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 Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh. uh, Horror movie quiz. No, Ooh. no, no, no. Just let's do, let's do the story. Let's just. <laughs> I, he's just basically asked our viewers to come up with ideas. And it was fun to try. Right, so what do we have? We had creamy, creamy wiggly, wiggly, painfully. Painfully. This is, this we need more, thing. guys. We need more. Keep them coming. Adjectives. Another adjective. Adjectives. <laughs> Adjective. 
Um, uh, dirty. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying. I'm looking. Okay, they're they're not given as much. Let's go with ghostly because we've got someone with ghost in their name. Ghostly. Mm. I and, like uh, ghosts. What about slippery? Slipperoo. <laughs> Uh, Cuntishly. <laughs> no, no, it needs to be Cuntishly. Oh, I'm yeah. gonna put the L Y. Yeah. No, no, uh, s- dirty should be dirtily. Sloppy should be sloppily. And slippery should be slipperily. Because they need to be lily words. Do they? Yep. Why is that? Because it's Cause describing describing an action, not a, a noun. So, like, you would. A, a noun. It says there, descriptive or adjective, drippy, stinky. That's. Uh, That's an adjective. Right. Descriptive or uh, yeah, yeah, sorry, no, yeah, I'm thinking adverb, but I've just been talking about my ass. Right, you're okay, absolutely right. Dirtly. What is fucking dirtly? No, no, exactly. no, no, you're right. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, it's dirty. You're <laughs> See? Right. It's just dirty. Yeah, dirty. A scanner dirtly. <laughs> <laughs> and slo- sloppy should just be sloppy. You're absolutely right, guys. <sighs> I'm getting tired of that. Sorry. I'm <laughs> getting tired. Right, nouns. Disgustingly, I kind of want to put that in actually. Well, we can put that down with adverbs. We get adverbs down the bottom. Uh, yep. yep. Okay, so nouns. Nouns. Noun is the winter of our discontent. <laughs> <laughs> A person, place, right? Boris Baker. How do you spell Boris Baker? B E C K. That's a, that's, a, that's actually a pronoun. Is it? <laughs> well, this is a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking, do you remember those games you got on Windows ninety uh, five that told spa- you Space Lady? Yeah, oh, okay. We've got duck and is that a fiat or duck. is it a fist? Like and is that a we've fiat? got fist poo shoe <laughs> duck? <laughs> poo Alan. Fist poo shoe duck. We need we need to lose one. Poo poo wee wee. Sorry. <laughs> no, it's fist. Fist. No, no. What? The one that you wrote is that fiat should just be fist. <laughs> no, I, I, I like is that a fiat and is that a fiat? That's good. It's not gonna make any sense. sense when it comes to the exactly. <laughs> You're a maverick. You're a maverick, McPhail. <laughs> fist. But the man who's peace and shield. Audience. Sounds gone. Does this come is unplugged or something? Else have an issue with the sound. Yeah. Well, no. <laughs> the same guy has seen it twice. Okay. Well. So okay, yeah, good. USS Enterprise is a noun. Mm. Uh, that's, that's also true. a pronoun, but it's a type of noun, so. If we're doing Boris Becker, we can do USS Enterprise. Uh, um, cannibal. Mm. Um, says, still going. Toe liquor. Toe liquor, okay. Okay, brown. Chris can still hear us. Jackie, uh, can you hear anything? Just to tell you, I've not just lost the ability to hear. <laughs> That's quite worrying. You're like a reverse daredevil. Are you sure? Are you sure it's not just a ridiculous accent and you can't understand this? Um, n- right, another noun. Um, Jobby. Deaf. Deaf's not a noun. Deaf man. Okay. Which is yeah, Jackie Reaper is a new, <laughs> new superhero. Bum poker. Yeah, yeah, I like that. No, that's oh, clothing. Like, clothing. Like, a like bum poker is not. <laughs> 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 I'm wearing my best bum poker. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I'll oh. so write some clothing. Oh, that's clothing. <laughs> I stopped saying that. Haunted jacket. Yes. <laughs> Are we not keeping bum F- Fedora. Yeah, bum oh. poker is quite good. I kind of want it. Oh, no. Thank Switch you. USS Enterprise from Bumpo. No, so not, the USS Enterprise isn't going to be funny. Think about the story. Sorry, mate. The guy that suggested it. <laughs> you're not funny. You're not funny. <laughs> Man <laughs> said you're not funny. Uh, feather boy. Yeah, yeah. Feathered. A feather boy. <laughs> no, no, just a feather. Boy. Feather. That'll do. That'll do. Yeah. Uh, noise. Go away. I think we should. I think we should. Whack. Uh, We've got crusty sock from Chris Nutt, cravat from Jack Reaper. We've had cravat already, Jack, <laughs> and scarf from Light Ghosts. 
square. And we need another noise. What did you say? Thwack. Oh, that's good. That's good. What about schlick? Foreign word. Farange. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's double F A double R A G E. What's Farange? I don't know. Nigel Farage. That's Farage. Nigel Farage. F A I G E. F A double R A G E. I like. Uh, it's because I keep saying f- Falange. Falange. I'm not, yeah. I'm not convinced that is there a double R. Mm. Uh, it looks better. How do you spell epididymis? <laughs> um, ear as in, lo- earlobe. As in your epidermis. Wait, wait, wait. We're maybe asking these guys. These guys they are giving good suggestions. And we're fucking ignoring them. Skull, skull cracking. Earlobe. Earlobes, guys. Earlobes? No, fucking body parts. What <laughs> am saying? Earlobes, guys. Come on. Give us earlobes. Uh, <laughs> left earlobe. Well, that's good. That's good. <laughs> I don't know if you said Martin Sands. I don't know that one. Any other body parts? Flange. Belly, 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 belly button. button. Belly button. Belly button. button. Belly button. Yeah, that's perfect. Does it have to be belly? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, because that's how you typed it. Colour. Uh, Move. <laughs> Caucasian. <laughs> oh, puce. You know, oh, yeah, yeah, the colour of puce. Puce. <laughs> puce. P-E. P-U-C-E. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm one of them. <laughs> <laughs> no, what what liquid do we want, guys? What liquid? We've already had piss. <laughs> what other liquid could we possibly have? Um, Garriet. Rust. Rust is <laughs> not a liquid. Oh, a uh, color. Uh, mm. Is the correct spelling of epidermis? Is right. Uh, brain grey. Oh no, they're still in colors. These the forgetting is a lag. Mm. Exclamation. Uh, exclamation group. Oh uh, no no wait let the guys like the whole point is we're supposed to these guys are supposed to be contributing and we're ignoring them yeah but there's a lag I know <laughs> that just 30 seconds of waiting and Callum can't wait <laughs> nitroglycerin oil leaking from a rusted tap that that's I like oil yeah, leaking from a rusted tap that is tap. quite a good uh, exclamation <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> 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 I think if you imagine, I think it works better if you imagine Brian Blessed saying. <laughs> so I'm, I'm pretty this. sure you'll be able to find other. <laughs> Why are we doing? Other horror. Okay, we're on animals, guys. Just oh, do we go on love? <laughs> right. No, no, we do something. Just exclamation with fire with the <laughs> <laughs> Never going to let me. <laughs> Alright, go, Sweeney. Give us an animal. Platypus. Platypus that's that's good. good. Uh, we're on numbers now. Uh, well, well, let's let's let ghosts have one. She's uh, they've not had the ability to do it. Mud, <laughs> mud skipper is also quite. There's, these are some good ones. You, you, this better be a good one for us. Having waited, no pressure. A finely combed werewolf. <laughs> finely is it not combed? Combed, that's what I said. Oh, I'm sorry, I thought you said cold. Well, really. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, finally it's, cold. It's finishingly well. cold in a very <laughs> precise manner. I like ghosts, come up with a, an on. animal. No, it's just like ghosts, isn't it? I like, well, no, it's I like ghosts. No, uh, one is, the one is an I, but the, there's an L, and then a one for an I, and then a K, <laughs> and then a three. I'm just going to keep like pronouncing ghosts. I like okay. ghosts. Yeah. 42. Blanks, right? Well, you fucked it. <laughs> <laughs> Blanks, <yeah. laughs> we got number forty-two from Jack Reaper. Right. I think it's perfect, and then seven point two. Million. Yeah, yeah. seven point like two. That. I think it's point point two. Yeah. The number of fucks David Cameron doesn't get. <laughs> I'm disappointed. This is the same story, though. Adverbs. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but it'll be different ones. I can't work out how to. I think it must only be once. It must be planning on making more, I mm. guess. Oh, well, given that the, the site seems to be copyrighted the year 2000. <laughs> yeah, I think Alan's probably... <laughs> to the, to the, 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 the present. Yeah. That's a hell of a long way. Uh, right, adverb, just to let everyone know what an adverb is again. A word that describes an action. It's a lay word. Adverbs always end in lay. Slowly, that, quickly, yeah. smellily, mickily. Uh, yeah. Annoyingly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which is the same thing. Feeble-mindedly. Yes. You feeble-minded fool. Sparingly. Oh, yeah. That's good. 
Spearingly. Spearing, yeah. yeah. Mm. Pet's name Donald. <laughs> yeah, yeah give, Donald. give us give us a pet's name, guys. I'm sure you've all got some. It's currently Donald, but um, I'm I'm open to open to different people getting involved. Quickly, the cat. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it's quickly quickly the jizz weasel. <laughs> oh <my> God, <laughs> oh, it's slightly disappointing actually because this has got a. I love some of the things of foreign words. All <laughs> Jack's just repeat quickly, quickly. <laughs> <laughs> fromage and blitzkrieg. <laughs> of all the foreign words. So, uh, you could always How put blitzkrieg for pet's name. I just typed in write your own horror stories. And this is if what came up. Herbie, Mr. Snuggle Snow. Chums and Tidus. Tidus, Steve. Like Tidus. If you, if you type in horror mad lib after this, you'll get... Alright, okay. Well, let's, let's check All right, it out. see it, guys. Let's see what you have done. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> <laughs> and oh, wait, this is different. I will I never... F- f- it's my turn to go first. Oh, okay, right, first last right, right. No, it's the same, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's the same. Oh, no, yeah, yeah, but it feels different. <laughs> <laughs> it's much shorter. Okay, I w- so... I will never forget the night it happened. It was a creamy night. And I was relaxing upstairs with my Boris Becker. <laughs> a good book and my faithful jizz weasel kiss. <laughs> Suddenly there was a loud squelch. Can you guess what it was? I sprang to my feet and crept downstairs, trying to be as wiggly as I could. <laughs> Nothing looked out of the ordinary. Suddenly I heard the squelch again, but this time it was much more painfully... And I, <laughs> and I knew it was coming from the basement. Summoning my courage, I grabbed a flashlight and strode annoyingly down the <laughs> stairs. I might have met my end right there if not for Titus. Titus, you must, uh, Paul, I must excuse me for not knowing how to pronounce your pet's name, who let out a loud thwack. Startled, I jumped feeble-mindedly to the side just in time to avoid a long, gooey appendage. I turned my flashlight on the intruder and gasped in horror, lurking there in my basement, basement, bathed in the dirty glow of my light, was a huge, quivering, shapeless blob of ooze. The hideous thing was as smooth as a space lady and big as a duck. Oil leaking from a rusted tap, I cried. I fled sparingly upstairs, but the thing chased me with lightning speed. I was trapped and knew I had to fight if I wanted to survive. First, I tried to chop it with a sharp fist from the kitchen. (laughs) Then I shot it with my grandpa's USS Enterprise that hangs over the fireplace. In desperation, I even tried throwing buckfast on it, but all to no avail. It just kept coming. I thought I was dead for sure. When suddenly a strange figure crashed through my window and leapt between us. He was tall and sloppy, with fierce <laughs> ghostly eyes and slippery shoulders. He was dressed entirely in black, except for his puce haunted jacket. <laughs> <laughs> Alan, you've got to, actually, I, I don't know whether to let you deliver your own line. Oh, Christ. <laughs> Firewood Ahoy! <laughs> Thank you, guys, and quick as a blank, he jumped in and stunned the ooze creature with a powerful kick. Without pause, he scooped the thing into a tool liquor and tied it shut with a long deaf man. <laughs> Alan, how did you do that? I gasped, trying to catch my breath. Their only weakness is their earlobe. <laughs> One good kick and the things are helpless. But how do you find it? I asked, staring at the shapeless mass. That is easy, said the stranger. It is right next to their belly button. <laughs> <laughs> and attempt, I'll attempt to do it like Kevin Conroy. Oh. I thanked him for saving my life and asked him his name. I am Farage. <laughs> 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 and I have been un- hunting the ooze creatures all my life. Join me in my quest and we will make the world safe from immigration. Sorry, uh, from their cuntishly evil. Oh. Now that I knew the truth, how could I say no? 
I joined Farage that night and my life has never been the same. Yeah. I learned how to spot their earlobe in less than 42 seconds. And together we have defeated <laughs> over 7.2 million <laughs> of these creatures. I even got my oh. own puce horn to check <laughs> out. <laughs> Well done. Classic. Christ. Well done. Well done, guys. That was exceptional. That, that was, I think you oh. would find you would you would find loads of other mad lips. Like, if you put well, it's some, lip. something to put down, but uh, no, that was certainly enjoyable. <sighs> um, well, one thing I would say we don't necessarily have a quest put together, but I do have to give away things. Like I was saying, I'm not sure how we should work out who it is. That. Is entitled. To oh, we should have we should have come up with a quiz then, shouldn't we? <laughs> we should have come up with a quiz. Oh, fuck. But unfortunately, no, no. Like two of us, two of us will fight to the Life death. Finds a way. <laughs> Whoever guesses who will be the last man standing. <laughs> uh, right. Thank you very much, that everyone that enjoyed it. Right. Okay. So, oh fuck, over here. So, go, go Did pack up my stomach. Just having a yeah, conversation. Yeah, it just collapsed. <laughs> Gets over, but I like ghosts or whatever it is. I think it's like ghosts. I think Martin's right, but I don't want to admit it. See, tell them, tell them I'm right. Uh, we'll see you later on. Well, I, I don't actually know who's left. I think it's just Jack Reaper and Chris Nutt. So you, you can just fight between you guys. For <laughs> who wants the mummy and who wants Aftershock by Eli Roth? Um, we should do it. Well, there's a horror quiz on that thing. Yeah, let's do that and see who. Uh, but then the answers will be on the screen, will they not? Nah, they won't. Because I can. Who won last time? Everyone won last Every, time. Yeah, I, I kind of let everyone the win. The audience won. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, hmm. Well, there's a lot of questions here. Right. Ah, but there... Right, okay. So... Well, these are from after 2000, so... Uh, Chris That's Nutt and question. Jack Reaper, if you can... And Bing Bong, if you're still around as well, whoever still... See? It's like, hey, right, hey, hey, and Bing hey. Bong, like I said, and Bing Bong's still there it, as well. It's, 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 wait a minute. It's like ghosts. Oh, right, okay. No, I like no, ghosts. <laughs> Whatever. I think you'll owe me a tenner, guys. Uh, we we <laughs> <are>. <laughs> so, Jack Reaper, Bing Bong, and Chris Nutt, I believe, are all here willing to fight. So only only two right, can so, win. So Someone could win a Horror Ten reboot, though. So there's there's <laughs> three prizes. Um, and there's three of them. What would we say? I think. Uh, I think we'll go, we'll have the mummy as the top prize. Um, Eli Ross aftershock is the second prize, and Horrid Henry's Listen, nightmare. I can tell you something right now. Horrid Henry should be the number one prize. Right, Horrid Henry is the number one prize. Ask well, them what they would like is the number one prize. Little known fact though, uh, that scary Horrid Henry book is actually um, an English translation of the Necronomicon into <laughs> children. Jesus Christ, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> These pictures. Should, should we not do it like... What's uh, Henry, Henry, what Henry doing by the that mad skull? Arab Abdul Hazred or whatever his name right. is from the... I want... Bing Bong's still after an Alan t-shirt. Is that ever going to happen? He was yeah. racist. <laughs> Potentially, it was it good? Alan's not against having his likeness on a thing. <laughs> or a thing. thing. Oh, it depends what thing it is. Jack Reaper has, has a joke. joke. Knock, knock. Who's there? No, he has a jock. <laughs> he has a jock. He has a jock. Jock, knock, knock. Go on, Jack. Hit us with it. <laughs> I can tell it's going to be shite. <laughs> I can smell the shite already. Oh. I'm sure it'll be splendid. Should we not? Like, First time. That's, that's what I was going to say. Uh, there you go, Chris. And then Alan tried to steal your thunder bike. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was yeah, going to say that. Yeah, very yeah, very, yeah, very clever idea. Oh. That's exactly the type of thing <laughs> I was going to suggest. Yeah. Oh. Okay, first that, prize picked first. That's that makes sense. Yeah, um, I've got I've got a very quick joke if you'd like to hear it. Oh, oh, really? I'm waiting on to wait a minute. Not, not Batman. Batman's parents. Oh, 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 oh nice oh, good Batman's oh, parents are dead. Yeah. Um, not Batman's parents. <laughs> <laughs> right. Does anyone want to hear my joke quick? Yeah. Right, a duck. Is it scary? Uh, well, yeah, because it's got an anthropomorphic duck in it. That's. And anthropomorphic polymorphic duck a duck walks into a bar right and he says to the bartender have you got any bread and the bartender's like no sorry you'll have to pick something else and the duck thinks for a second he goes right have you got any bread and the bartender goes no I've just told you you've not any bread you'll need to pick something else he goes mm, I'd really like some bread and he says if you say bread one more time I'm going to nail your bill to the, the bar the duck thinks for a second, he goes, have you got any nails? And the bartender says, no. He says, cool, have you got any bread? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
that's a, that's an old uh, classic. Oh, it's got a short battery life. That um, it has <laughs> right. Okay, so here's the quiz. Um, if we can get everyone to come and sign in and see they're ready, there is one, two, three, four, five. We've seen all six, the questions. Are we googling? Seven, eight, eight, nine, <laughs> ten. Screen cap. Screen cap. Screen cap. Right. No, don't worry. That's they've not seen it. There's ten questions. <laughs> um, and who's who's going to keep no, score? Hmm? Who's going to keep score? Mike Martin. Michael's in the middle, Martin's, so that means he's uh, uh, Martin's got a, a number brain. <laughs> what? One, 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 the, one day <laughs> he has a brain. number brain. <laughs> 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 right, okay, I'll keep the score. Is it a master's or a PhD you have, Mike? It's a shite. <laughs> 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 right. Oh, there we go. Yeah, ready. 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 Okay. ready. I've Googled so, all of them. I've got Google <laughs> open in the quest, second window. Question one. In the 2003 psychological thriller Identity, who was the real killer? The cop, the chauffeur, the or the chauffeur rather. The chauffeur. Uh, <laughs> the joker. Um, <laughs> the desk clerk or the little boy. I'm so just, if you want to jump straight onto the Wikipedia. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, don't. <laughs> everyone's, a, everyone's a comedian. I don't know, but you're taking too long. I think there's a lot of googling going on. <laughs> Fuck me. Oh. Cheating bastards. <laughs> Rapidly <laughs> scaling down. Discussion points? Or are you just completely. No, I came here without anything. Got a few for after. So. Never seen it. Okay, little boy. Is that correct? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't <laughs> find out. Is it? Is that true? Well, wait, then they let the rest of that answer. The police. Uh, Jack, Jack says, says police. police. Bing Bong says never seen it. Bing Bong, pick one. Just guess one then. Like you wouldn't have any multiple choice. One in four. It was so when he says it was your mother. So <coughs> where did it split the split No, it was no, not there. It was not there. I'm Chris, your film. Chris, you're giving Bing Bong. The answer by saying that. <laughs> Bing bong. Chris. Bing bong. <laughs> Bing bong. A lot, a lot of pressure on old Bing. A lot of pressure on Bing. Right, okay. <laughs> right, it is, it's the little boy, so. Right, so Chris did say it first. Just below ready, he said little boy. Oh, are we going for just who? Whoever said it first, yeah. Look, he says little boy. Just oh, is that ready. what you're doing right? Okay, yeah. sorry. I thought you were going so, to... I'm going to keep scoring this. I'm trying correct, to right. So Chris Nutt has one point. You are Chris Nutt. You are Bing Bong. <laughs> and you are Jack Reaper. You've got a point. I've got a point, right. right okay. Remember, you've got a point. I've got a point. Okay. Am I the only one with a point? Yes. How do we know? Because right. it's not told us yet who's... Right, right so, you're, so you're, do, you're doing it that it's just the first person to yes. answer? Yes. Chris Nutt, okay. Bing Bong, Jackie Boy, uh, Jack Reaper, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Okay, okay so, not, bong. question two. In the 1935 <laughs> movie Bride of Frankenstein, <laughs> who played <laughs> Mary... Yeah, who played Mary Willow... Quiet, boys. <laughs> We're asking a question. In the 1935 yeah. movie Bride of Frankenstein, who played Mary Wool- Wollenstone Shelley? Wollenstone. Wollen- Greta Garbo. Sarah Michelle Gellar, who wasn't alive yet. Uh, <laughs> Eliza Lanchester or Elizabeth Taylor? I think it was Eliza Lanchester. That's just my guess. Completely. All right, Chris. Stop giving the fucking answer. Chris, will you calm down? <laughs> We're going to stay in silence. Can I just say, the, no, in the meantime, no, though, the, it's quite amazing to think that movie was made in 1935. Mm. You know, in terms of. Uh, it's I, like the olden days. I quite enjoyed the old uh, Frankenstein. I was listening to Peter Bogdanovich the other day talking about how he hates people saying that well, that's like an old film. Yeah. Because mm. no one says that about like stories, books, and art. They don't say, "Oh, it's an old painting." Yeah. It's an old. Because if it, it if it's new to you and it's mm-hmm. new, well, oh, there's Bing Bong flying in there. Something that's that's specific to. I he's right. He's right. He's right. The right. way people look on films. Mm-hmm. I think though, Bing Bong, Bing Bong's right. Are coming out, new films that people know are coming out all the time. New cool. paints are being done all the time, but not famous ones. It takes sure. a long time for a paint to become right. famous. Bing Bong, right. Bing Bong, you yeah. have a point. Right. How do you know you've not? It's not. <laughs> yes, because it came up. But he came up faster than the rest of them, <clears throat> and I knew that was the answer. Right. right. So we have to know the answers. So we're just going for the answer. Cool. Right. Yeah. Right. Okay. Right. okay. 
So it's and one the, one and I've got nothing yet. Yeah. Jack, come on, we need one this. <laughs> Alright. He was close though, he was right in behind. Uh, okay, so in the 1974 release of Young Frankenstein, what was the track number that the train stopped on at the Transylvania station? 29, 13, 9, or 666? Six, six, six? Well, I mean, I know what we the sirens. Yeah. Uh, 9. <laughs> of course. We all know the meaning of that. Are you actually well, broadcasting? Are you, are you broadcasting? No, that? no, that's what we're broadcasting. <laughs> Callum's going to oh. fucking Google it for you. <laughs> but th- these are quite specific questions. They're very. That says 29, no? I don't think that's the answer. Train 29. No, nah, that's no. not the answer. Keep going. Oh, fuck up, Mike. Oh, shit, sorry. <laughs> 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 Come on, Jack Reaper. They've <laughs> they've spent their load. It's not thirteen, Jack Reaper. You've got a chance to answer correctly. Oh, it's coming down the line. Right, to right now it's not Mike. thirteen. <laughs> it's one of the other numbers. How long is Come that? on, Jack Reaper. What? You've got a chance here. Lag? About twenty seconds or something. Come on, some. Don't, don't go home yet. He, just, on, he just wants. He the has actually gone home. Yeah, yeah. He, he has actually gone home. No, he was Wait, out, was out, he out in a public park. Jack, uh, you better get this right, mate. I'm going to be very disappointed. He's going home, I wonder if he's not there. He does live streams on a big They've screen in a point. public screen. He's <laughs> got a point. Come on, Jack. Have I got a point as Chris Nutt? Oh! oh! I'm sorry, the correct answer was 29. I don't know why. But okay, uh, unfortunately no points for anyone there. Mm-hmm. Right. Boah. The next question. In the 2003 horror movie Cabin Fever, who says that guy asked for our help, we lit him on fire? <laughs> You'll understand if I'm not in a particularly social mood. Joe, Kim, oh, Karen, or the guy in the raincoat? <laughs> I imagine it's a male character, but then I'm just purely guessing. I mean, these are like really specific questions. I mean, I've been involved in certain quizzes before. Yeah, I mean, I'm really going to go for it. Okay, the options were Joe, Kim, Kat. Oh, you mean for the other one? The other options were 29, 13, 9, and 666. The correct answer was 29. That um, famously scary but number. But the answer in Cabin Fever are Joe, Kim, Karen, or the guy in the raincoat. Are you not broadcasting that? No, that's what we're broadcasting. So that's good. But they need to see the question, do they not? No. Kim. Incorrect, Jack Reaper, I'm sorry. Do you know the answer to this? Yeah, we just Googled it. Did we? Yep. No, sorry, Bing Bong. No, again, wrong. Think carefully, Chris. You got a 50% chance <laughs> of getting this right. 50%. 50. Oh! Yeah! oh point to oh, Chris. no, boo! Uh, Jack, we didn't get the next one right. Come Jack on, absolutely man. cleaned up last time as well. Okay. <laughs> right, so you, so you've got Chris has got two, two and zero got one. one. Yeah. Right. Okay, this is spelt wrong, but in the two thousand horror flick Donai, <laughs> Donai Darko, a famous horror author is given tribute twice. Who is this author? The answer is Robert Louis Stevenson, Clive Barker, Stephen King, or John Steinbeck. Do we know the answer to this? Is that <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> Can we even find this out via Google? Yeah, how are you going to word this? <laughs> Horror author. Just type in. Mm. The, the, loads of people have analysed that film. So it'll be. And bizarrely, I have never watched it. Really? I've you watched are. bits of it. Mm. But it always seemed like a bit of a hipster film to me. Yeah, it is a bit. Yeah. I quite liked it. Yeah. Can I say something though? Were you not of an age when that came out that it spoke to you? Uh, like he sent you up as a hipster. You know being like, no, 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 I don't. I don't mean it that way. I mean like save your man. <laughs> like I remember sitting down and watching it at a friend's house. Like I only watched some of it. Uh, but I what? And I must have been about twenty-one. Right. Yeah, no, I mean, I see where you're going with that, but yeah. uh, I don't know, I wouldn't say that it's spoken. We're actually something. trying to find the answer to this out ourselves. <laughs> We're yeah, yeah, someone's going to get it. Yeah, it's Stephen King, oh, right. uh, so Chris not another point to him. Does that mean you've got three points? Guys, Chris is shitting you up, big still. <laughs> 
Fucking hell. Chris, Jack, you're gonna, I you're, you're gonna win me that Horror Henry book, Chris. Yeah, it's it's pulled all over you. It would have been more interesting if it hadn't been Stephen King. You think Stephen King would be King seems a little bit obvious, obvious yeah. yeah. John Steinbeck and then. <laughs> Would be more Mason Men, that uh, famous yeah. horror author John Steinbeck. Yeah, um, kind of kind of blew your load a bit earlier there, Bing Bong. <laughs> uh, in the movie, what do you think he's called, Bing Bong? In the movie, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, what profession would the character Merrick have liked to pursue had his destiny not been to train slayers? Ventriloquist, <laughs> bootmaker, hockey player, or fishmonger? Who? It's a fucking Alan Partridge. Who is the worst monger? Iron, <laughs> fish, or war? <laughs> Tag Reaper says he's losing in purpose now. That's what all losers say. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I had time for you. Uh, you really need to Google this, mate. Yeah, no, I'm working on it. Mate, mate, you're really, mate. You guys need to chat mate, while I'm fucking mate, doing computers. No, I, so, just I, I think it's appropriate that uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, the film, should come up because I mean we were talking earlier on about how much we liked. Um, fuck, I can't think of his name though. Just Rodrigo for Grasso. Nah, the uh, nah, nah, nah. Uh, Donald Sutherland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. 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 uh, he plays the guy that trains. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because uh, that's what we think of. He, he is that character, as you know. Is the film yeah, it's played by Ant Head? Yeah, the I TV think so. Yeah. Calm's just spent fam, <laughs> spelt fam, but I can't even say spelt. Buffy so the Vampire Boot. <laughs> to be fair, I would watch Buffy the Vampire Boot. Um, that, that sounds like quite a. Oh, point to Bing Bong. He's right. Uh, oh, technically, I'm gonna give him it. I'm gonna. Yeah. Because it could have been the way I said it. Bootmaker is the correct answer. Right. Point to Bing Bong. Right. So I've got two. So it's three, You've two. Got two. Three, two. Jack. Jack. Come Where on, are you, mate? Where you're, are you? You're really <laughs> disappointing me. Um, we're okay. we we on the same team now, and these. I'm gonna draw a cock in his face. <laughs> Pause. Cause yeah, you. that's. Oh, I need to walk home. Right. <laughs> now, next question. In the 1974 Texas Chainsaw Massacre, whose voice do you hear as the narrator? John Larroquet. 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 Uh, Kermit the Frog, Dennis Leary, or James Errol Jones? So that's John Larroquette, Kermit the Frog, Dennis Leary, or Mufasa. <laughs> surely, surely, Jack, come on. Jack, 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 Jack. Come on, Sam. Jack, don't fail me. Don't fail me. <laughs> Jack. He's too busy shit in the bed, he can't hear you. Jack. <laughs> it feels like you're actually willing him Jack. through this. <laughs> Oh, Jack! <laughs> Do we know that that's right? It's not that. going to be. It's Dennis not going to be Dennis Leary. Leary. It's not going to be Kermit the Frog, and it's not going to be James L. Jones. John La. Yeah. John Larroquet. Yeah. Courtney Cox adequate. Chris Nutt. So I'm on four points. Four to Jesus. We're Jack, doing it, Chris. Jack, you're slow as a week in jail, mate. <laughs> and the original, when I will butcher these guys. The beautiful the thing is, <laughs> there, there's no, there's more people, uh, there's more people watching than there is uh, participating. But the other people must be too scared to get in the quiz because Chris is just fucking teabagging everyone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and ah, the, ah, the ah, ah, in the 1958 Jesus. House in the Haunted Hill. I told, you I'd do I told you I'd butcher them on film. Right, in the 1958 House in the Haunted Hill, how did Annabelle try and kill Frederick previously? Stabbing, electrocution, crushed with a steamroller, or poison? I really <laughs> want that to be crushed with a steamroller. <laughs> no! <laughs> No! Out of interest, does anyone know the answer to this? I think I do. I, I think I do. I think it's B. Yeah. That's good. That's just told them. <laughs> <laughs> but I might be fun. Who's the first to write it? Chris. It's B. <laughs> <laughs> Jack. Oh. Jack. Did Jack just write James L. Jones? <laughs> <laughs> Jack, come on now. Oh, uh, <laughs> don't you fail me. Don't you no, no, not electroshock. Way. Electrocution, because electroshock's the therapy, because it's a madhouse. Uh, I mean, uh, an asylum. I mean, a uh, mental home. I mean, a uh, <laughs> uh, care facility. Care facility. Stabbing. He was stabbed. 
Uh, bing bong oh, it's, it's poison. Oh, bing bong. It's poison. So is that four D? Yeah. Oh, still riding high, Chris. Still riding high. Um, Jack, the idea more, is to try and get some of the questions bastards. correct. So, if see if we can, see if we can, mate. Okay, in the two thousand and one movie Jeepers Creepers, what was the license plate of the truck that tried to run the main characters off the road? <laughs> Tim to die. <laughs> Uh, sounds very Glasgow based, doesn't it? <laughs> um, beating you, big six six six, or too I hot for you? Was. I might need to check that. I'm not sure. Beating off with you. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Jack says poison. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, so we have the answer. Yeah. You know, the first half hour of that film was really great. Mm. Really, really strong. And then it turns into Terminator. So was the first half hour of this list. <laughs> 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 yes, yeah. that's, that's correct. Bing bong. Oh, it's 4-4 four, four, then. Shock it up. Four, right, four. okay. I think we and is this the last question as well? Yep. Yeah. It's all to play for. It's all, all right. to play all for. Right, right so I'm going to give you a little bit of buffer Chris, zone because uh, I'm expecting Jack Reaper to do this, James Earl Jones in a second. Do this. Um, okay, come on, boys. Beating them, right? right. Beating them, right? <laughs> if Jack Reaper gets this first, I'm going to let him be the winner. No, <laughs> no, 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 right. no, don't. And Stephen don't. King's made-for-TV movie It. What was? He's well, going. Don't, don't <laughs> we need to make up another question. And now. Stephen King's made. F- yeah, it's another question now. So, right. Martin, shut up. The wall. <laughs> okay, uh, another question. Uh, in Horrid Henry's Nightmare. No. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Oh. In the third movie in the Evil Dead trilogy, Army of Darkness, what is the name of the kind of vaguely Scottish king? Is That's it a good question. Henry the Blue, Henry the Orange, Henry the Green, or Henry the Red? That's such a great talk. So, Henry the Blue, Henry the Orange, Henry the Green, or Henry the Red? Henry. Henry on Henry, 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 Henry! <laughs> Don't need to Google that one. <laughs> but they do. Yeah. Oh, come on, come on, guys. Come on. Ooh. Come on. Who's going to. Ooh, body massage. Ooh, he's got it. <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone remember those G.I. Joe ones that they uh, dubbed over? They're fucking great. Oh, oh Jack Savages! <laughs> oh, Henry the Red. Bing Bong! Oh! oh, Bing Bong. You are the king. Uh, Chris Nutt came in second, and Jackie Boy, you came third. So, Bing um, Bong, what, do you, what prize do you want to. Which choose? prize doth covet the most internet ghost comes in right at the end oh, <laughs> oh internet ghost good to see you my friend he actually he wins brings, all three he brings it up last night. I'm afraid I don't have yet a prize for you internet ghost uh, but do you know that it cost me about 20 quid to send that Poundland DVD to you last night <laughs> <laughs> just as well you didn't come in again oh, come back king that's right. exactly right bing bong right, okay oh. so uh, which of what? the following doth thou covet the most? Uh, the Brenda Fraser vehicle pre breakdown, mummy, <laughs> Horrid Henry's nightmare, or Eli Roth's aftershock? The Brendan Fraser one, not Take being, your time, not, there's, there's not no being the people. Answer. So what happened to Brendan Fraser? I heard that they put on loads of weight. Yeah, he had a shit. he had a divorce, and his wife fucking just rode him into the ground. Took his hair. Took his. Abs. His wife rode him into the ground. Pretty much. Lucky guy. <laughs> no. No. Give him. All oh, right. Uh, what? Do you, you don't think you've deserved it at all? Is that what you're basically saying? No, I just want you to spend enough. Yeah, I was just going to say. Yeah, I actually anyway. think that Jack Reaper's just been a bit of an arsehole here. <laughs> Alan T. We don't have oh. any Alan T. shirts, oh, no, but that's a good point. I will have after aftershock. aftershock. That is fine. Um, I need to see if we've still got access to it. But there's an email address which, if you comment on this video, 
after it's up, I will put up the email address and uh, you can email it to there because I'm not entirely sure if I've managed to keep the other one from getting closed down, oh, but on. it did work last time. It was like ghastly giveaways at Outlook.com or something, uh. but um, comment on this video after it's up, Bing Bong, and we'll make sure you get that. Right, so who's next? Chris Knott? Chris Knott. Chris, pick away son. No, I deserve to be beaten. That wasn't yeah, actually one of the prize options, Jax, and I'm not encouraging <laughs> you. Where is Martin going? I don't know. <laughs> Return to thou seat. Wait, wait a minute, I just heard somebody pouring the drink. No problem. Yeah, there is an additional That's person the room. Jesus! <laughs> And it's the Phantom Tap. Amy, tell The mummy, right, fair play, right. Well, that means that Jack Reaper has got. Well, actually, J Jack, are you honestly trying to tell me you don't want a copy of Hor Horrid Henry's Nightmare and you want to get up to Internet Ghost? Because uh, inter uh, oh, international man, postage <laughs> otherwise would. <laughs> say hello to the people, Amy. Say hello. International postage would suggest otherwise. <laughs> what I'm saying. You're right, it's a silly film, but last time we film. gave away <laughs> Bram, a silly place. <laughs> Bram Stoker's so The Mummy I too. Not go there. <laughs> right. Right. Dead air. So <laughs> that's it. And now your true prize. We're going to spend the next hour in silence. Last night you set up the live stream and then we all just sat there like that for an hour. As if it was paused, but then Is that not pretty much what we've done? I've got a few Discussion topics. Oh, uh, Jack said he does want the book, so. He does. Yeah, of course he does. The fucking <laughs> day. Um, You'll take what you can get, Jack. <laughs> but we all sign it. Yeah. Would yeah, you like? Would, yeah, would you like us to sign, sign it? <laughs> That's a question. We might as well. We can sign the DVDs Brass as well. Browser <laughs> logo needs to be inserted. I have interest. Uh, it seems to be coming up weird for us here. Can, yeah, the Brago. That's that's, Ka Ever that's Callum's course, sister. Nice oh. <laughs> you came in at the wrong time, mate. Oh. Um, but what was going to say? Uh, yeah, but I was quite happy to send it to the Internet Ghost. You did perform admirably in the last quiz. Uh, can you guys come up and tell us how long we've been streaming for? Because I'd like to think it's an hour and forty minutes, but according to this, it's been an hour. Hour. <laughs> I don't entirely understand. Why. Should be an hour forty-one, isn't it? You would think, yeah. um, or close enough to it, because some people were taking a piss. Speaking what of which, what time is it? Uh, Twenty-one forty-one. Yeah, so I'm not desperate. Yeah, well, we've been been streaming since eight, so yeah, I would have thought so. Um, okay, I'm just going to quickly go to the toilet. You guys can carry What's on. What's your um, talking point? Well, 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 one of the, <laughs> the main one requires Callum because it's got um. images to back it up. Oh. Uh, do you want to talk I, about demons? I could indeed. Let's I talk about demons. 1985's demons. It, it was quite a film. I mean, the only way I kind of came into knowing about this one was because uh, Martin actually showed me the trailer <laughs> for this. Some. Oh yeah, yeah, we until our forty four groovy. Excellent. But Thanks. yeah, it was only after uh, Martin showed me the trailer for this one kind of went to it. So it was uh, it, it's kind of a, a film in search of a story, I would say. It's just uh, the, there is a haunted cinema that some people go to for film ostensibly for a film premiere and uh, madness ensues when the, the film kind of starts to possess them. And this is not the film I was thinking of at all. Oh, what was There's it? another film called The Demons. Called Demons. You think of The Demons with ah. uh, that alcoholic guy? What's his name? Need to narrow the field of it. One with the one with all the shagging in it. Right. Keep ah. keep synopsizing and that, and, and I'll find the. I should probably try and synopsize it best for actually. It begins with this uh, young this young college student. I would say this woman who's studying in West Berlin as it was the eighties. And uh, she runs into this weird looking punk guy wearing a silver mask who gives her a flyer advertising this film premiere. And uh, she's, so she, she pitches up at this with her pal, as you do. And the film, there are some props from the film in the lobby. There is a motorcycle, a sword, and most notably a replica of this. That's not going mask. to come back yes, later. That's in the not film. going to be used at all. <laughs> <laughs> And, you know, because, uh, you know, in horror movie logic style, someone tries the mask on and cuts themselves. Now, uh, when they start watching the film in the cinema, the film is about the Nostradamus prophecies, 
and one of the characters in the film wears the mask and, cut them, and cuts themselves, thus turning into a demon, which then begins to happen in the cinema in real life, or uh, you know, in the film in real life. To the, people, the woman yeah. who got her face cut. Effectively, yeah. yeah. And you know, the, the, the other people then start getting attacked by her, and they start turning into demons as well, but they find they can't escape the cinema because some buggers oh. lock them up for inside the place with concrete bricks. And uh, yeah, hijinks ensue. That's probably about as much as I can say. <laughs> but it's it's quite uh, kind of postmodern, really. Yeah, oh, it's film within a film. No, I really like. There's that, that kind yeah. of question of like uh, films causing violence. And, yeah, and, and yeah. That kind I of never even thought of that because I mean it's the right kind of time for it with the video nasty yeah, scare yeah, and everything. Yeah. It's uh, yeah. I mean, it, 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 it's kind of a strange one because it's. I feel like there are, are a lot of really clever and interesting elements going into it, but the the overall plot of it, I think, kind of threw a wee bit of a wobbler for me. I mean, I feel like going into it, I kind of thought the film was one thing and then it sort of became another yeah. thing and then at the end it became something else again. I, I, I must admit, I quite like that about the film. I like uh, when films yeah. do that, when they start off as one thing and become another thing. Like like the way um, Cabin in the Woods does it mm-hmm. it starts off as one thing and becomes another mm-hmm. thing as it goes Pain along Pain drama pornography <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, well, they can be they can both transition you know what I'm saying <laughs> one thing I would say just to bring up what's in the, the chat there those of you that did receive drawings last time do you have us on the Facebook because if you do it might be quite funny to get them to uh Post a picture yeah, of yeah. the stuff you've received on the Facebook. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, with yeah the who's on the Who's on the Facebook page? Who's know, on our Facebook? I, I know Chris is. Yeah. Um, um, Smorkin Babbitt, Jack Reaper, Evan S. Fox, or Bing Bong. Are you yeah. all on the Facebook page? No, Internet Ghost and Jack Internet Reaper Ghost. definitely got pictures. Um, if you've got the if you've got Facebook and you're on our Facebook, post them up because I'd like to see them again. Because Jackie Boys was one of the best because he managed to trade one DVD for three, and his was Jackie Boy the Deceiver, <laughs> which is great. Internet Ghost, I believe, was the DVD going through customs and. Uh, Bang Bong, the film was called Demons. Demons, yes, Demons. Yeah. Demons or Demon Eye for its original mm-hmm. Italian title. Um, but it, it's 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 actually a really good film. There's, it's it was it's very gory as yeah, well. Yeah, so. yeah, they, what do you mean you're not M and S and Fox? That's outrageous. <laughs> that's fine. Some that's people fine. That's some fine. people hate <laughs> Facebook. Hmm. Some people hate the Facebook. And some Mom. people just hate your face. Yeah, that's Ooh. true. <laughs> Um, I hate my face. Soundtrack as well. Yeah, yeah, no, beast was, of a soundtrack. Yeah, I mean, it was it was surprisingly well done the way they brought in it, it, you know, kind of bizarre combination of metal Billy and Idol, Billy Idol, yeah, Billy Idol and, really and Saxon yeah. and Accept <laughs> and uh, Rick it's Dangerous and the adv- what was it uh, oh, Rick, Rick something? I yeah, I can't, even, I can't even mind. Me. Mess, keep talking. Uh, me and Martin yeah, have yeah, it. Uh, yeah. I'm Michael. I know. <laughs> <laughs> But, um, uh, oh okay. Oh, Lorne, yeah. Hello. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> I'm too cool for you. Lorne's a good friend. <laughs> but and an excellent uh Alexa. Whoa, you better yeah, end this yeah, well. Yeah. What? I was gonna say an excellent expert of horror. Oh, yes. No. Sorry, continue. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's I think my my only complaint with the film really was that I thought that the main characters were by far and away the least interesting yeah, ones in the film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, 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 the one personality trait is that they like the bike in the hallway. Yeah, yeah, that, that's not going to come back <laughs> later on in the film. But uh, I, I think I think this has got pretty much. Oh wait, what's it? Just yes, hello. Chris. Aye, that'd be absolutely fine, mate. If you just um, send it to well, you can send. Somebody just joined at this stage. You can send it to ghastlytales at gmail dot com. Um, that's it now we're gonna get a fucking shitload of spam like well done no, well no that's done. fine it's fine <laughs> um, just send it to there mate and I'll be happy to take a look at what, it what if it's terrible and then if we have terrible, to then, then we have to then we have to face this guy and go oh look right we, we got your story but it's, it's fine it's fine it's fine it's fine it's, the story's fine I'll it's, fix it. it's just you <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we draft it heavily Bring on the wrong kind of paper <laughs> yeah great brilliant film that is one of my yeah, favourites it was, it was a lot of fun it's, it, the thing I was meaning to ask you was is the sequel worth bothering with because I, I wasn't sure I saw some yes and no and it's nowhere yeah. near as fun yeah, but it is yeah. careful it, it, it makes even less sense than the first <laughs> no, one mm. but it, it if you liked it, you will probably like the sequel. It doesn't have as much action in it, uh, and, I, I and they've they've, they've replaced like they've replaced um, 
Billy Idol and Saxon oh. with Morrissey uh, on the soundtrack. Yeah. A, a movie called Demons with Morrissey on the soundtrack. <laughs> yeah. That, that, there's that, no slaughterhouse no scenes right, or yeah. anything. Yeah. Um, I like Morrissey. <laughs> no, I know, but it's not, he's not really yeah, like it's it's typical not, horror. It's not like horror. Like, 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 yeah, 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 I know. Um, there's I, no I Bruce Springsteen. I was pleased to see that uh, Bobby Rhodes came back for the second one. Yeah, he plays a different character though, and he gets his ass handed to him pretty fast. Because I, I really appreciated his turn in the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the first one. It, is, yeah. it, it seems a strange a thing that, you know, like, you, that that I find myself saying that the best character in the film is the world's most sensible pimp. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's, it's like, he seems to know it exactly. Don't do it. It's, Cut it. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> he, he seems to have exactly a perfect grasp of the situation yeah, yeah. from the get go. I mean, Except you know, he talks like <laughs> this. Such wonderful dumbing in the a stroke. film. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, you dick. Smash everything! Um, Smash we, everything! Do we have to, what? I've got a few discussions. Martin's points. got this thing Ooh, that he wants yeah. to do, and I've I've downloaded it. <laughs> no, it's just I, I was going to kind of open it to this you gonna, guys. This is going to get a bit meta for a second. You're going to be able to see your own. These chat. guys as well. Don't need to open. Don't it up say yet. fuck or bugger. Don't, don't open it yet. Don't open it yet. But but my, yeah. my point. I think we've done this before. Um, you know, like talk about something disturbing or frightening or weird that you'd heard of or seen or uncovered on the internet two seconds sorry Jackie uh, sorry Jack Reaper exactly the same as last time when the vid- video's up just uh, leave a comment and I'll get back to you chances are it'll be that same email but I just need me to make sure I've still got the fucking login for it because I'm a daft bastard okay continue, continue right. on so uh, I was just going to kind of open up to the floor I've got something myself but I'm sure the guys at home have got something to talk about and maybe some of you guys have as well just something we did this before just something disturbing frightening bizarre weird paranormal creepy eerie that you've discovered on the internet that's had an effect on you or creeped you out in some way Um, I did post this on Facebook earlier and I don't think anybody looked at it so uh, (laughs) (laughs) so I didn't post it sorry I was busy with wedding arrangements but um, (sighs) But yeah, something that's disturbed you. I mean, this I did this. I think this was one of the talking points last time. But there's so yeah. much creepy, bizarre, so what, disturbing so what, shit out there. Can, We're not just talking about. Does it have to be something you found on the internet? And it can't be something that's happened to you or oh, something. Well, like you, it has to be. Well, something. the idea was it was something you found on the internet right. or something that you saw or heard or it could be something you read on Reddit. It could be something that you found. So there was a there was a the the one that I think about a lot of the time. Um, I'm trying to remember the name of it. Maybe you'll remember the name of it when I when I describe it. There mm. was a. A video and clearly a hoax of some description, but it, but it was it, it seemed it it had a lot of authenticity to it, mm. and it was supposedly uh, footage found from someone with an old eight millimeter yeah. film camera right, yeah. out in the woods somewhere, uh, I think in America. Was it like the world's first video of dogging? Yes. Right. Um, <laughs> and basically, the, the, this person's in the woods. And you get the you know you get like sort of a, mm. a couple of cuts of just mm-hmm. normal things that they're yeah. doing stuff yeah. like that, but then they sort of spin round and it's through the through the woods, and you see something and it's on all fours. Okay. And Dying. then it just sort of looks at at the camera and then just starts running and it's weird towards the camera. Yeah, and it's very strange the way the way, uh, the way um, it runs, and then after that you have footage of supposedly the police. Really, uh, capturing look, look, there's like a severed arm and stuff like really? that. And, that sounds yeah, and I think it uh, to me it's like it's the 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 name of the video footage is like Gage Cage or something like that. Wow, it's like an it's a strange name and it really uh, it really annoys me. I can't remember mm. what it was called. Does anybody in the chat know what I'm talking about? It, it, it did have an effect on me when I saw it. I thought it was. I'd it, it really was like to done. see that. If um, we could find we, the title, I'd like that. to. I'd like to watch it. Trip, trip, tripophobia. Is that the one with the bugs and people skin and all that kind of stuff? Maybe I don't know. Callum, look up. Pretty phobic about the noise your knee just made. It was my toe. Actually. <laughs> <What's> <laughs> that like? uh, um, I don't know if you guys at home heard that snap. Must have um, been standing. Tripophobia. <laughs> you could you could you elaborate a little bit? Is that the one with like people get bugs living in their skin, like fear of uh, infestation, or am I talking out my ass here? Um, in the meantime, we'll continue to talk about mics. So, what was this thing like? Was it like a? It it was it was almost kind of like 
it, first of all, when it when it's on all fours, it looks initially like you think, oh, it's a bear. Right, right, right. But then it's like a bigfoot type thing. Ah, but it's on all fours. Right. And then it starts galloping towards the camera, and it's, it's a few of holes. <laughs> <laughs> and it and it's it's back legs sort of move strangely as it's as it's galloping. So it's definitely old footage, yeah. Well, it, it's at least been like made. It looks like right, old right, footage. Right, right, right. Um, and that really, that really sort of freaked me out. In many ways, I found it more interesting probably than it, than it freaked me, but it, but mm. it definitely was a sort of creepy thing. Whoever did it, yeah. if it is a hoax, then it was, it was, it was really I'll try well, and find it. Mm. I'll well see if we can find it by the end of the live stream. Um, maybe, uh, well, I'll tell you do what. Do some, get some copyright infringement going. <laughs> well, it's, 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 how would you even come by something like that now? I mean, you know. Hello, Charlie Chalk. <laughs> I loved you in the eighties. Oh, Charlie, Charlie, Charlie Chalk. Chalk. Charlie Chalk. Every time you pop up, it just makes me think of a guy that's got a funny way of walking and a funny way of talking. <laughs> I fucking <laughs> love Charlie Chalk. Chalk. And do you know the best thing about Charlie Chalk as well? It, all the Brewers Fairs had a special kids bit with Charlie uh, Chalk in oh, it. Oh, yeah, I remember that. that? Yeah, oh, yeah, I remember it. Yeah. yeah. There was one. There's one on the way down to Largs that they recently refitted, but it's a shame. Yeah, I, I know the bo- one you mean. I would have bought yeah, it. Yeah. I would have bought it's it. It's if you're travelling down from Greenock towards Largs. Right, to do yeah, that yeah, way. I remember it. Um, because I'm massively into that it famous horror character Charlie Chalk. <laughs> Charlie Chalk. He's a fucking. Bro- Actually, do you know what? It could be a horror because he crashed land on that island and his pals were like a pink elephant and stuff. And he never left <laughs> that. Yeah, island. exactly. Um, so, are we saying that that was effectively the the origins of Lost? <laughs> what about you Cam you must have seen some shit online you're a 4chan browser I've, I've seen some some mad shit online uh, have um, you seen things that we people wouldn't believe <laughs> like, ships on fire yeah, or yeah, like, over the shoulders of Orion um, I remember I've, I mean I've used to go on 4chan a lot more than I do now but I've been on it but I do remember one of the minor sc- uh, school shootings in America the guy that did the shooting right. was so this is this is going to be brutal because it's real shit. Yes. Yeah. Oh. So the guy that did the shooting first posted on 4chan before he did it, and I saw this. I saw the start of his thread, and I can't remember. He, he never went into it. He just said, "I'm about to do a school shoot," and then before I knew, Everyone's like, "Ha ha ha!" This is ridiculous. All of all I knew yeah. was up in the thing, you know. And there's the classic kind of like post picture. It didn't happen. Then before oh. you know it, it's all over the shit. internet. And you're just oh. like, did you hell. see? I was like, do it, happened. do it! And then High he did score. it. And then he yeah. said, this is for Callum. And then he said, <laughs> did you? Yeah. Can we stream oh. it? It's called The Gable Film. The Gable Film. Okay. G- like Clark. Creepiest G- film Mike ever found no, on No, it's not, it's not the creepiest thing that I found. It was, it was Don't start ago. qualifying it. Now. But, but I'm just saying, remember at the time, The Gable Film. The Gable, Gable. Film. Okay. The Michigan, the Michigan Dog Man. There you go. This sounds about right. Okay. Yeah, Are you, the, the Gable The film. Gable Film. Gonna be so some scary it? shit. Yeah. That sounds about right. And Biggin. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's fake. That's <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't even have legs. <laughs> I don't remember Here this. Here it comes. But... <laughs> Oh, we are streaming this good, right? Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm glad yeah. That other people. I can just describe it. <laughs> the dog man's going to. The dog man's going to appear in a little square behind where we're all sitting watching. Like, we'll be like, oh no, no, look at it. I don't. I mean, I can't remember right? when it was that I, that I found this. It was it was a few years ago now. How long have we got to go? Was this? Six or seven. Was it on like one of those that, sharing sites or something? Is that a no, different it skater? Was, it was on. Yes. It was on YouTube. Nine Eleven right? didn't happen. I that's d- fake. Yeah, <laughs> steel beams don't work. <laughs> For some reason, I think I posted it to the, the old one of the old area shifty burn phones. Right. All oh, right. 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 Um, <laughs> Those well acted. I'm sure I was something's obs- gonna happen. I was obsessed with this stuff for a while. Um, it's the original what, creepy what, passage. Just, it just genetic snowmobile <laughs> shots. <laughs> I, I I don't remember any of this. I don't remember people kicking about. This oh, is obviously oh, 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 oh. Well, the, the angle changed. If this had sound, would okay, it be that something. music video for Tubular and Bell? Is there any, is there any audio? You just turned this no, down? No, there's no audio because it's like an old day. I mean, I know some of them had sound. A lot of them didn't. Yeah, this is what I remember. This is it. So it's like an old family film, basically. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Do you want to I like the shit. Take us out of the equation? Or? Take us yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, take, take us out because it will be... Two cents. Okay. Uh, this isn't going to be copyright, is it? 
No. Fuck. Nah. Because they're claiming it's real, aren't they? So. No. Plus, it's a video within a video. Can we not just for educational purposes? <laughs> look at look at that deinterlacing. That's a shite job, that isn't it. <laughs> So, is that the dog man? That's yeah. a fucking <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> Four legs bad, two legs good. God, it really is like a dog. You almost wouldn't know it was a person. Oh, he's <laughs> oh, oh, almost oh. a man. He's smelling something. It smells like a dog man. It smells like somebody's shit in here. What's this? The Minnesota? Is it Minnesota? Michigan. Michigan. It's a Michigan dog, man. Right. So. Uh, Aye, mate. So there he is fixing his car. It's, it's, it's coming. It is. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> is that woman going to have sex with that dog and then give birth oh. to the dog, man? Here we go. It's any time now, guys. <laughs> any time This now. is obviously stuff that was that was put up way after this was originally posted because it was mm. just... Oh, 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 quick, oh, 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 oh. It was just a quick... Shut up. <laughs> That was actually pretty weird. Shh, like you'll hear us. <laughs> well, that's some bear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was that bit. Did he die? Where's the dog? Where's the the body part? Oh, the evidence. Oh, no, there's evidence. No. No, Hi, there was there was there was there was footage after it where there was like a severed arm and yeah, you know, the oh. person you saw and the but then someone tried to say that that I'm sure at the time that the the footage. That footage was old, but I'm sorry, someone, Evanescent Fox. That was me probably shouting and screaming at the top someone, of my voice. Someone else had filmed the stuff afterwards to make it look like a sort of film footage thing. You're right. But right, right, right. Um, I don't know. But the, the, the stable, the stabilized mm. footage of the, the thing running. Yeah. And it's sort of weird the way its back leg kicks out. It's, it's mm. quite. Yeah, 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 unusual, but That's I mean, I, I'm cool. sure it's a hoax, but yeah, kind of I extra. I like it. No, I do. Uh, yeah, extra is what I was thinking of when they were driving around that road, and you sort of see something shifting in the, off the. I thought it was going to be at night time, but it's in a way it's kind of more eerie that it's in the day. Mm. There's not, it's not nothing sort of hiding in the shadows. It's right mm. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah actually, it was it was me that shouted. Uh, nothing. Was it you? I think we all yeah. we all so kind of shouted. So. Well. Hey. <laughs> You are so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Please say what you had to say. It's, oh, it's going to be stupid now. I was just going to say... Biscuits! <laughs> I was just going to say I was disappointed that Robert Kerman didn't have to go and barter with some natives to get it. You know, Robert Kerman's them. another po porn star. Yeah, yeah. No, it's, that, uh, it's, you see, we were, it's no one secret. <laughs> when we were talking about that earlier, I was going to say I thought that the, the guy in Zombie 4 what, didn't make the jump to, to straight acting as effectively as Robert, Robert Kerman did, did. Yeah. Yeah, yeah well to be fair Robert Kerman only did straight acting films where he had to get his kit off although oh, apparently oh. apparently they kicked him out where they stopped doing uh, cannibal films with him internet because, goes uh, talking about it the Michigan Dogman is actually a rather famous urban legend over in that area yeah. from what I have heard interesting we should do a little bit more about that it's quite yeah. I like we it. love cryptids and shit like that it's quite interesting I'm surprised that's not got a lot more views though, yeah because mm -hmm. It's, yeah. it's it must have been I mean when I first saw that it was when YouTube wasn't hadn't been around mm. for very long mm -hmm. um, um, definitely interesting so what you, you said you had one yourself. well I was just my, my kind of mine was more of, sort of a general point but you know the, the whole sort of deep web dark web sort of stuff though yeah. there's a lot of it's become a big uh, kind of source of creepy pasta and scary stories yeah. and all that kind of stuff but there is a lot of really creepy stuff out there and, and, and you know I'm, I'm sure you guys are familiar with the deep web there's a lot of crime on there there's a lot of people selling credit card don't show them just yet <laughs> uh, there's a lot of people selling credit card details there's a lot of you know illegal content uh, child pornography and that kind of stuff um, there's a lot of uh, said that so nonchalantly <laughs> 
I've, I'm not as, I'll, I will qualify this I've not really spent any time on the deep web but I, Jennifer I Lawrence about, nude photographs <laughs> <laughs> um, thanks a, guys <laughs> there's a lot of gore and that kind of stuff on there um, and obviously drugs which is the main thing mm. um, but worse than child pornography no, no not really no, not no. really um, <laughs> unless it's like heroin infused with melted down Polaroids of melted children. Melted children. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you know, adrenochrome yeah. taken from, you know, yeah. the children's adrenal glands. Yeah. Yeah. You're spoiling one of our future shorts. <laughs> 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 oh, fuck yeah. Uh, yeah. No, it's fine. Um, but the, the one that always kind of stuck with me, and obviously, it, it, there's a lot of fake stuff out there. There's, there's the, uh, there's the, the assassin markets and stuff like that, where mm. apparently you can bid mm. to hire an assassin to kill someone. Um, and a lot of it's really obviously mm. fake sort of people with you know it's basically a creative writing exercise for a lot of people um, the one one that really creeped me out though was the human experiments website which was a website um, which basically purported to be an underground lab uh, that ran unethical human experiments on mothers and children and men and babies and you know, uh, all kinds of people, and basically, big pharma companies could, if they didn't, if they wanted to carry out an experiment that was unethical, they could they could hire this company to do it for them at an arm's length. And this company had homeless people who wouldn't be missed that they could perform all these like killer experiments on. I don't mean killer and, and awesome like <laughs> killer experiments, man. Uh, it's Keanu Reeves. Keanu Reeves. Excellent. <laughs> but um, so, so I believe I've got a few screenshots of this site. Actually, I've I've deliberately excluded some of the more graphic ones. If you want to fire up experiments number one dot png for me, I'm going to see something I can't unsee. No, no, no. There's no images. <laughs> <Mark's> bum. <Yeah. laughs> um, I don't know if uh, it's maybe a bit small the image, but uh, as you can see in this website, we attempt to illustrate several experiments that be no, uh, yeah, no, this being conducted be conducted by our group on human subjects, people chosen for their for this range of experiments are usually homeless people that are unregistered citizens. Experimentations range from starvation and water, fluid restriction, vivisection and pain tolerances, infectious diseases and organ effects, transfusion, drug trials, sterilization, neonate and infant tolerances to heat, x-rays and pressure. Blah, blah, blah. Now, obviously, I will. Hoax. There's quite there's quite a few spelling errors, and it is quite clearly fake, which I'm quite, I'm glad to say. But a, yeah. and then disposed of in dumpsters of meat shops. <laughs> meat shop. What a butcher! <laughs> Welcome to the meat shop. <laughs> what would you like? A eh, would. Well, pork. No, I think, I think, I think, I think, I think. In fairness, I think, I think it means shop in the American sense of oh. like a factory, oh, right, as in right, working yeah, like yeah. in the shop. Like yeah. like, boof, boof, boof. See, see, if meat shop is not actually the name of a porn film, I'll be disappointed. Meat shop. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, if it was true, it would be deeply, deeply disturbing. But it, it always creeped me out a little bit. This site because. The, there is obviously the element of truth in that these things did happen in China under mm. Japanese rule uh, during the Second World War. Um, you have examples here of the I sort of in the West as well. Though. I happened whereabouts? In, I happened in the US and uh, did not happen in the US where they, they experimented on certain the, in the certain US. Yeah, you're like right. The there was a there was a there was a town in the US with a mostly black population where yeah. I believe they infected a whole bunch of them with was syphilis, it syphilis or, or was it chlamydia geez. or something like that syphilis. in order to test the spread or was it to test drugs or something but this takes it to a whole new level um, you've got warehouse one where only because that was already <laughs> that was yeah. fine no um, oh, right Nigel only <laughs> Mr <laughs> Farage only females under 16 are put there experiments in warehouse one mainly involve uh, mainly bleh, I can't see you over the mic not you. Uh, revolve mainly uh, around sterility, <laughs> sterility and pregnancy. And pregnancy. Um, Sub subjects are either fed and treated well because be cows 
because mm. we want a healthy newborn that, to experiment yeah. on because or subjected to several experimentations. The experiments test both the pregnant woman and the fetus. That's correct, that's fetus. fetus. No, that's fetus. No, that's, that's fetus. fetus. The, the American spelling. I'm the one reading it. The American spelling has an O, yeah. o but the correct spelling has an O. Uh, the females are made. <laughs> the females are made pregnant by either artificial insemination, in vitro fertilization, or direct sexual penetration from other tests. They're subjects. talking about rape, Callum. It's really not. A no, but subject. from. Uh, and yeah, and on female, a fictitious a website. Female, female, females <laughs> under sixteen. Yeah. You just had sex. No, it says older than older than sixteen. Older than sixteen. <laughs> you effectively just had sex. I'm fine. I'm alright. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't have it. She's older than sixteen. <laughs> just the flags just went up and up. <laughs> it's very kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got a bit of a kind of an SCP type vibe yeah, to it. But it does. The lesser, well written ones, where yeah, it's just yeah, like. Yeah. Gareth I can fly <laughs> through walls and kill all the other guys. The other, the other, the other thing is the other thing is the tagline at the top here, which says "Not all humans are equal." For some of them were born superior to others. Is a bit Bond villain. It's a bit, it's a bit curling the mustache, you know. Um, but the idea of it kind of creeped me out. Come, come, <laughs> you derive just as much pleasure from, from experimentation as I do. What's number three? What's experiment three again? Uh, how's his men the and women next from West Ham experiment? I do so for King. <laughs> there was there was one I left out because it was a bit too disturbing about. We are a group of medical with, uh, personnel. Oh, there are yeah, three so. nurses, six medical students, and two medical interns. And <laughs> are they paid interns though? Because I want to know <laughs> if this is an ethical sort of. Place. Or you get <laughs> the minimum wage? This is what we want to know. Yeah. Experiments are conducted in our spare time, if we have any. That's, that's, <laughs> that's 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 so many people. But no yeah. either. But never mind. Jeez. The warehouses are left unguarded, and the test subjects are confined to their cells unless they are being used in the experiment. Food and water are provided as indicated. Nutritional status is usually irrelevant as none of the test subjects survive long enough, except the pregnant women. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe it wasn't as disturbing as it seemed to no, be. I, 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 yeah, I think, I think because room. this stuff, stuff like that, has went on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, and and certainly, I don't think anyone um, trusts the the, the, the uh, establishment mm. companies. But so I think it's definitely something that that gets under your skin. Mm. Um, yeah, the other one, the other one that really uh, disturbed me was, and I, I didn't. So, take sorry, it. it's a good point for internet goes. Surprisingly <laughs> friendly <laughs> greeting to a website you're supposed to lay about illegal human experiment. <laughs> 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 Welcome, <laughs> Pat Sharp's <laughs> Funhouse. All I've ever seen, folks, is now you know how people are trying to read bad creepy pasta. Yeah, <laughs> that's a fair point. Actually, just that, take, just that's 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 in general. Look for. Have you seen that man? Did you not? Did, did you not talk about that? The the. the and one of the other live streams, or am I wrong? The You're wrong. Pi- the picture that I think it's the one about you know this is a picture that those people keep drawing, and they keep no. the, the the pictures turned up or well, the man's been in their dreams basically. No, that's pretty cool. Talk about. I said that Google. Have you seen this man? And there's a picture of him as well. There's like some. Am some I going to f- recognise him and be really freaked it's out? Like Callum. <laughs> <laughs> Nathan's joined us as well of our Cal Rust computer oh, right, the nice. subject. Hello Nathan. Remember many, Rust? <laughs> many wasted days. I know. Um, the, the, other one, the other one that kind of freaked me out, similar to that, but maybe more disturbing, I didn't bring any screenshots of it because it's, uh, it's worse, basically. Um, and not in the kind of more badly written way, mm. is the, the, <laughs> the medical doctor that supposedly created a business selling sex dolls, but the sex dolls were made by... Were Cybermen. Well, they were made by um, capturing, I don't know if it was like homeless people or trafficked women or something like that, um, surgically surgically removing their limbs um, and removing their teeth and eyes and, and all sensory apparatus and hanging them on hooks. And these would be sent to you in the post if you paid $100,000. And there was supposedly like a oh. clique of rich perverts that were, that for the, for who collected these specimens. Dear, um, dear, oh dear. But I thought that that would be too did disturbing eat- for the live stream, so I've just described it in detail <laughs> yeah. for you all. Did they, um, <laughs> did they eat baby food like Robocop or no? Probably, food? probably. Uh, I imagine well, they, they don't have any by, teeth, so. Uh, if I remember rightly, they were fed by IV drip. Oh, I okay. Remember. I didn't. It wasn't actually on the site. I think I might have seen it on deep web pics on yeah. Reddit. There's a, it's maybe different because the end of the day, uh, Murphy is people. Still, so. yeah. But is baby food people? That's the question. 
Is the baby food also silent green? Have you found anything creepy on mine? Mm, to be honest, oh, it, <laughs> he doesn't look at any except such to, shit is creepy. To, to be honest, you know most of the creepy stories and things I've read online all tend to end with, and then it my mom goes, "Well, and then my mom goes <laughs> scared, scared and she me. said, you know, I'm going to learn." Or alternatively. Uh, and then we open the door, uh, get on the floor, and we walk the dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love that as well. Um, there are some good hoaxes out there. There's, there's, uh, what's the what's the name of it? Is it the, the Dibbuk box? Or oh the, yeah, there was a guy trying to sell on eBay. Yeah, yeah, that that was crazy. It's the well. Necropolis vampires. What's what's all the deal with that? Because you guys keep talking about that, and I don't really well, know the story the, of that. The, no, That's the, a Glasgow was, based it, one. But was it not? Was, was it not in the? Was it not in the Gobbles? It was the Garble's Vampire, yeah, yeah. It was in the southern necropolis in Glasgow. That, the Iron Man of Glasgow, is that not what it was the called? Uh, the Iron Truth Vampire? Or Iron, I am Iron Man! <laughs> <laughs> um, I am Iron was Man! It was, it was, made was, a pair of knickers from an old tin can! <laughs> <laughs> it, it was a, it was That's a in the new film. Jake was a, a case of mass hysteria, or what, what well, was it? Or did, just they, did, they not, did they not chase it back to a comic? They, they claimed it was to do with with horror comics we should say that we, sh- we should say that, that and it was in the 1950s yeah. that? there was around uh, the same time as EC comics yeah. like you know the, 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 the there really seemed famous. to be a wave of hysteria in a part of Glasgow called the Gorbals mm. where people started saying that they'd been yeah it's just a wave of general uh, hysteria they, yeah, yeah, everybody they, 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 they had been they, they had been uh, seeing this this uh, creature which start which people claimed as a it vampire it was all kids though it was all yeah, spread among yeah, children yeah. Well, it's similar to like the whole Killer Clowns thing yeah. when you were kids. Well, we spoke about the idea of potentially doing documentaries about it, which a couple of the guys the, were asking us to do earlier well, on. The, the, well, the, no, the key aspect, good. the key aspect though, was that what what the the upshot of this was that a massive crowd of children gathered from all the schools in the area and like something out of the fucking Goonies or the Monster <laughs> Squad, dis- <laughs> did, instead of running away, <laughs> oh, oh, something's oh, happening. Shit. Have we lost the stream? No, no, we're fine. We're still here. Instead of running away as like kids oh, nowadays, Bing Bong's away. Bing Bong. See you later. Bing later bong. on, sir. Oh, did he not win a prize? He did. Oh shit! I've accidentally refreshed it. Um, we lost all the. No, we still got. Uh, oh still fuck! Anyway, still here. Jack Reaper or Chris? Actually, have you still got access to all the comments? Because I've ac- this accidentally just refreshed. Accidentally, and what Cal means by that is that he pressed. It's not on BBC fan. already, you liar. <laughs> <laughs> um, and that'll be about about that. There what's was happened? there was some news, uh, news pieces on on it before. Yeah. So anyway, the, the, basically, the entire population of the local schools descended on the place in an attempt to kill the vampire. <laughs> so you've got all these children from ages sort of five to fifteen descending on the on the haunted graveyard where a vampire ah, with metal teeth was supposedly attacked. What about And the kids instead of running away or being scared, fucking defend descended on <laughs> on mass on this site to hunt the vampire. Yes. And that just shows how much kids have changed <laughs> in the intervening fifty years. <laughs> It's, it's to be fair, I used awesome. to I, I used to take my friends vampire hunting. <laughs> <laughs> and I did. Yeah, but there wasn't and a genuine. I sent. Like, I sent. A, not that there was a genuine. I, I sent a, a, a girl I knew at the time to go into a, a chapel and to try and steal some holy you water. Didn't know a girl. Yeah. Um, <laughs> to steal to steal some holy water, and she said, well, "What if I don't see any?" And I said, "Just get it from the taps. I'm still with holy." <laughs> <laughs> I thought <it> somehow. <laughs> Do it that way. Um, uh, yeah, Jack Reaper, if you've got uh, everything at the end, if you could copy it all and put it in a text, doc- text document and then enclose it in that email later on, that'd be brilliant because we try and keep a copy of all the comments. Did you just fix my computer while we Because YouTube don't. <laughs> <laughs> Martin, you're ending my teller. End of my teller. What time is it? It's um, like quarter past 10. 22 17, are you want to sign off? Are you at the end of your teller? I only get up the road. Cool. Yeah, All right. Season. Well, um, it's been a pleasure, though. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, uh, hey, you guys. <laughs> Jack Reaper, if you could copy all the comments into a text document, what the fuck is going on? Sure. Is this mouse that's freaking out? Uh, if, yeah, if you could copy everything into a text document and uh, 
send it later on when if you comment on this video once it comes up uh, and we can give you guys your prizes <laughs> can somebody if reset you it if you yeah. just simply when this video uh, comes up your stomach rub your head, head <laughs> at the same time <laughs> yeah, okay, well, I've got a quick 10 point set of instructions it, while doing you. the hokey cokey yeah uh, once if you can comment on this video when it comes up we'll get everyone their prizes uh, and then once we give you the email, if you could okay. copy all the comments into a text document for us, we'll be forever grateful. Just say if you can copy it. the copy the. He knows what he's doing. He knows what he's doing. Kind of. <laughs> Thank you very much. Right. Yes. Well, will we sign off then. Yes, that would be excellent. It's been a lovely evening. Yes. I've enjoyed being back with my brethren for another live stream. <laughs> Yet again, <laughs> we've talked about things. Horror. M- mostly not horror though. Not horror. <laughs> Bat- Batman. Batman. Yes. <laughs> the Joker. <laughs> Robin. We didn't the talk penguin. about the penguin, but we should have. Yes. Anyway, thank you very much to all yeah, of you yeah. for uh, tuning in. Do people yep. tune in now? Clicking. And uh, please do Clicking. check out the Facebook page and all that other good stuff. It's down in below. the description. Excellent. A new short film coming soon. Yes, in the dead of night. We'll be here soon along with some other good Ghastly Tales stuff. So look at me like that. That's all for now. (laughs) Good night. Stay creepy. Hocus pocus. (laughs) Word. Your arms get sore.